Welcome to Starfinder, the Fragments of Eternity. It is session 33. It is the one year anniversary of the game. It is the 1st of October. Happy birthday, Oka! And here is the players. Also, I'm Ryan the GM. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm Nico. I'm playing Zora, the best captain. I'm Alex. I still play Nix5, the android mechanic. Hello, I'm Colin. I play Michael Quinn, who is... Oh, uh, you know what? Since since it's been a little while, let me fill you in. He is a sort of undead, like, undead but not in a good way, uh, sort of a stabby cop. Yeah. There you go. Hi, I'm Callum, and I will be playing Z, the magical space rat from the sun. Wonderful. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> uh, yeah, I hope everybody Happy enjoyed the anniversary everybody. session. <laughs> also, <laughs> welcome to the most sensible intro we've ever done. <laughs> that has to be. I mean, yeah, I, I was consciously yeah. being moderately sensible for the sake of, of the poor viewers <laughs> who will no doubt be really struggling to remember things. It's been so long. I'm glad we managed to hold it through. And, uh, mm hmm. Go to a professional. We're one career. one year older, one year more close more, to the more, grave. more better. Older and wiser, still filled Wisdom. with resent. Never. Yes. It's a good song. So Being back Sunday. Yeah. Um I look forward to when Olka's gift arrives. FMD's wondering what yes. it is. It's a mug with this image that is on your screens. Um Is it on the screen? Yeah. <gasps> Go on. Yeah it is. Oh look at that. Oh, that's so, pretty nice. So that's going to be on a, a mug for Olka, which I cannot oh, wait. Oh, that's fantastic. Um, yeah, I thought it was alright. <laughs> and I figured oh, I'll just leave that for the, the anniversary show, shall I? I'll just leave that up. <laughs> I love the drawn on antenna. That's just fantastic. Well, <laughs> to be fair, that was what she used as her icon, like uh, yeah, her yeah, token. I'd never, I'd never noticed it before. <laughs> I love it so much. Oh, <laughs> That's amazing. So that can, can I? I oh, do you, can I buy one? <laughs> <laughs> I can link you to all the stuff. Yeah, don't worry. Please, sir. Um, can I have some John on in ten A? Had I Please. actually any money left over for this month, I would have bought everyone like a custom character one. But I don't intend to ever do that ever again. So like, moving on. That's um, yeah, I money. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's fine. We haven't left. <laughs> <laughs> wow, savage zig. Um, speaking Sorry. of which, though. Speaking of which, who remembers yeah, what happened one. last time? Oh, fuck <laughs> we, we were incapable of deciding on. Yeah, I was going to warn off and buy a base, but then I realised we had to determine what we would actually be doing. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, it all started. Honestly, it was all downhill from there. On, so we put um, the contract out to tender for three weeks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, now we're picking up where we left off. A singular right. goose yeah. has replied. It was. A <laughs> It has honked, if need be. Um, but it was a tender goose. So. Of course, yep. <laughs> um, Have you seen George the Goose? He's this goose. Wait, but if you seen this bat? Have you seen this bat? Oh. So good! So. Oh, look at that! Geese and bats. Oh, that's so sweet. I love bats. Oh, look at it. Oh, so anyway. Horrible. Anyway. So, <laughs> Back yes. in the room. <laughs> Let's it do all started, a recap, um, shall we, from the beginning, right? In a temple near the sun. <laughs> where, uh, <laughs> in a playground where he played most of his days. Turn <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. relaxing, catching some rays. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, Trying who remembers the lyrics the in, these, in such depth? It's, it's quite astounding. The, um, the game began with tragedy. Retroactively, because Zig had a bit of a massacre for his intro. He All did. the while, there was a simple, harmless delivery job that you guys were on to the Baskerville Research Station. And really, none of no one who mattered was harmed. <laughs> like those people, those people were already. Let's be honest. It's fine. Or where are they? Well, time shenanigans is not clear, but it didn't matter. Yeah, it's like we'll get to when that happened 
right? And then, or will we? Yeah. Yes. Or have we? <laughs> and then you went back, reported it all to your wonderful employer, who then set you off to go hunt what seems like an angel banker. Um, obviously, the demise of buttons. Everyone's favourite NPC. Angels are. I cried. Pray. Uh, <laughs> it's a generous term, right? It's a generous, yeah. Um, I cry hmm. when angels deserve to die. And SK deserves to die. <laughs> and SK <laughs> deserves to die. Yeah. Yeah. Right, just suicide. <laughs> um, to be fair, if anybody's listening to this and you've lasted a year with us lot, you're probably here for this content, so you're welcome. Um, Maybe they're one. just waiting for that one day. What were we Where we're, we're, we're actually just fun. on point. <laughs> no, <laughs> like oh, we okay. we tried that. It didn't work out. So yeah, mostly chaos. Uh, right. So oh. that happened. You then pretty much sealed the fate of old man guns. Fuck! I can't remember his name. Um, sorry. <laughs> and then what else old happened? Man. Old man guns. guns. Yeah. Well, to be fair, like that. You pretended to have a trade agreement with Aspis. He didn't fall for it. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh you're a robot for yeah. me. Who is? Me? You were a beef no. Ryan went me? robot for me. Oh. Yeah. Huh? Robot, robot for everyone. Robot you for me. He, what mm. the fuck is. He di- what's this? What's this? Right. <laughs> what? This is bothering me. And I'm sorry, I have to ask. Guy that played Littlefinger. Like yeah. Aiden Gillen or something like that. Is that it? No, is that I think that it up? is. I think you're right. Uh, Aiden Gillen, yep. Yeah. Wow, yes. I can't believe I knew that. That's thank right. you, Brady. thank you. Because when you said chaos, I, it, my head went to Little Finger, and he was in. Sorry, I'm not going to derail this any more than I already <laughs> have. I'm going to the Maze Runner series. I don't know. I just no, but I was going to say Project Blue Book, which is not very true to life. Uh, it is entertaining, though. I only watched the first half of the series because I could only get that. I actually thought you were going to say Queer as Folk, but never mind. So, I, uh, no, I he, didn't watch He's been in some shite. Mm. But anyway, while yes. Aidan Gillen may have been in some things, what years ago? Including this game. Yeah, apparently so now. Um, he's not showing up yet, right enough. But um, <laughs> <laughs> this week on. Um, right, so what happened after that? There was some conspiracy Craig contraptions. Then mm. there yes. was... It was so good. What else oh, did we have after that? <laughs> there were some dragons. There was some medical checkups as well with Dr. Nazma Keklik. Yep. Um, there was a library. There was... There wasn't there. Um, <laughs> then there was a pool, and then... Yeah, there and was then Zig got Zig. fucking transported through time and or space. Um, Oof. Yeah, there was that one session where I was running, like, was it four games at once? Um, where it was like... Like I was like, can I phone Zora? I'm like, in 20 minutes, because Alex phoned you an hour ago. And <laughs> Alex, do you want to have that phone call now? <laughs> um, yeah, well, Zig was like a year away. So, <laughs> yeah. And then all the while, we had the wonderful Sindile sticking cushion feathers in its like mane um, in the background. So, yeah. The dear departed Sindiel. Oh, the joys. What else has happened since then? We've had um, the Joy Queen resolved or dissolved herself. Um, <laughs> that, that, yeah. Hermani, the wonderful. Um, the Vesk. Oh, many. Have shown up. That seems safe. Yeah. Yep. That's always uh, safe, but I don't want to I've been asked to do some. Reconnaissance. Yes, on Dmogesh. Ah, yes. <laughs> the Grave Epoch <laughs> Annihilator. <laughs> yes. Oh, dear God, Dmogesh. What a great name. And, um, what else we got? Chakos is safe. That's something. Um, yeah. And, back, back like, in... the Android Evolution as well. We had, um, mm. Alice go through a metamorphosis along with, uh, Nyx 5. Um, X5 seems to be having some kind of um, query of faith. Um, <laughs> yeah. Don't worry. 
we shall have the Android e revolution as well. Yep. Um, be good. Yeah, I mean that's just, you know, second year, right? Season <laughs> two. Yeah, get it sorted. Um, what else have we? What else has happened? I feel like. So which player are we evicting this season? Um, I mean, not it. I assume there's. I assume there's <laughs> prize money. <laughs> <laughs> Just waiting to who the the people at home vote for. Um, mm. <laughs> yeah, they thought they were voting for their favourite. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> the punishment staying in the game. I apparently. signed out a big vote for me campaign. <laughs> Is this roleplay prison? To be fair, though, like Callum, I think if MD was going to be kept in for the audience gratification, Zig would be kept because of wow. how tortured Zig seems to be oh, yes. throughout every step of the game. Despite Callum going, "Yeah, I'm going to do this really cool move and save everyone," actually, that makes me a horrible person. <laughs> Fuck. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's oh man. It's Remember awful. that time you irradiated those poor men. No! <laughs> <laughs> They I were just only just coming to terms with it. Now they I are just. Old, to be honest with you. Yeah. What, what are dust bandits if not... Melted? Um, yeah, yeah, if not to be... Uh, Destroyed. Oh, but he wasn't even willing to let the radiation do its thing though. He then just ripped their like spinal cords out with his mind. I mean, yeah, well, why Impatient not? Impatient rat yeah. boy. Um, <laughs> but yes, yeah, so that happened. Um, and weirdly, everybody's still a bit chipper, so that's good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it all yeah. went very well for me. Yeah, I mean that was fine. I mean, the shit crashed. That, stuff. that happened too. Yeah. Yeah, that's a work in progress. The ooze survived. Yeah. That's a thing. What a good lad. <laughs> the, the MVP of the campaign, the <laughs> ooze. Um, what else we had? We had. Um, Oh, the Radiant Supreme. He he was a guy ah, that seemed yes. to disappoint many people. Um, we had um, Grace in the Light of the Burning Mother. You know, she's mm -hmm. she was a thing. We had Nix's weird flashback. Um, as well, when he seemed to deliver something to her, um, and then disappointing the Radiant Supreme to be, um, yep. as he tried to shush him up, be like, shush, shush, please don't. The speak. Radiant Supreme disappointed shush. us. Mm. Yeah, with his weird Back sweaty through room. his bullshit. Mm. Yeah, his utter, utter just. Oh, I don't know anything about that. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> if I go for another shower, it's the thing to do. Um, <laughs> I don't know why he's like Boss Nass from episode one, but that's fine. Um, seems to fit. Yeah, why not? Does yeah. that make Zig Jar Jar? Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh. No, 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 but no, like no, the no. Sith, the Sith Lord theory, Jar Jar. <laughs> oh yeah, radiation, Jar Jar. Yeah, a radiating mind blast one. Yeah. I fucking loved the Sith Lord Jar Jar. That's like, yeah. in theory, yeah. it was uh -huh. hilarious, man. Fantastic. Like, honestly, I think it would have made the film better. Mm. <laughs> I genuinely yeah, think it would have been unexpected. Yeah, the thing is, they could still do that. That laughter at the end of that trailer might be Jar Jar. <laughs> <laughs> Call, calling it now. Oops. Uh, <laughs> you saw the master now. You saw Bombard. <laughs> oh dear. But anyway, moving swiftly, swiftly on. Uh, we are going to talk about goals, I think, for this, yeah. this upcoming oh, session. Fuck, that's the thing we do. Yeah. So let's go over the goals. Zora. <laughs> Get I'm still the in ship fixed. Process. Mm -hmm. Still a thing. Yep, because you need to kind of weigh up what you're going to divide the money between. Base facilities, ship reclamation. Um, we've also, if you're happy with that, we'll leave that as is. Unless you've got any other pressing ah. desires. Mm, I think um, it's fine. No. Next five, still on board? My goal is just to have a good time. Okay, we're changing up to power <laughs> armor to have a good time. <laughs> oh, sorry, Are they the not same. one and the same? Yeah. I just feel like the broad t wording of have a good time in a game <laughs> that I'm running that involves character uh, discovery. Let's call it that to be kind to me. Um, yeah, I don't know if you would ever achieve that goal. Um, <laughs> in character, not necessarily as a player, of course. Um, 
pat myself on the back a little bit, thank you. And then, yeah, are you happy with your goal or are you wanting to update it? I'm happy with that. It's all good. Okay, so for those who are listening at home that can't see the sheets we're looking at, it is obtain power armor and make it sneakable. Um, right, Mr. Quint, we have gather actionable info on Demogesh. Yes, I think that's a good one to stick with. I'm glad I changed from my slightly more long-term one. Yeah. And uh, honestly, I just want to assassinate someone. It doesn't have to be him. <laughs> just like, I just think even if fun. you missed him, shot the person next to him, it still feels good, you know? <laughs> Mark on the barrel still works. Um, okay, okay, that sounds good to me. To be honest, it feels like the direction these are kind of going in is the let's like because you're settling into verses, and obviously there's a strong Vesk presence in verses at the mm. moment. So verses five through eight. Sorry. Yep, yep. Our Lord and Savior Demogesh, the Great Epoch Annihilator, verse one. Uh. <laughs> um, it's mostly just screaming. Uh, speaking of, Zig, the Burning Sun. Uh, yes, uh, I modified it slightly. It was just talk to Captain about rolling crew, but it was more confront Captain about rolling crew and come to terms with the melting boys. Yes. Mm, well, there because you go. I feel like that's, that's pretty weighty. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that too. Yeah. It sounds like quite a good direction to push our young Zigather. Um, good. No changes then. Um, no. As a party, what is the overall group goal? Uh, fuck the police. <clears throat> it's like I just want to have some kind of weird orgy with the party. Like, no. <laughs> 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 or is this just a Shakos and Lyco thing? No. Um, <laughs> I, 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 I like I, the. Um, no, but maybe. No, it's, it's just, no. <laughs> that's wholesome. Yeah, of course. That's what this game spoke out <laughs> wholesome oddity. Oh dear. Mm. So, is there like a unified goal that you are trying to achieve? Cause, or is it just survive? Um, I think we want to get money along the way. Mm. Uh, it's all money. Um, I mean, right? Uh, I don't like people. Cool. I mean... Oh yeah, Absalom blew up. That too. Remember that bit? Oh, oh yeah. We didn't mention oh. that, did we? Sure. No. Yeah, that's probably wow. Mentioned. That happens. So is that important? I mean, I guess it's important to mention. Should um, we not have done that? Because <laughs> um, we we kind of skipped over the part where like Sindial bought people time to get off Absalom. Yeah. Yeah. Good lad. Yeah. Solid. Nice guy. Seemed yeah. a lot less weird when he discarded the chicken legs. Yeah. Seemed like fairly solid guy, but um. Yeah, so I guess it really comes down to he's have had that three weeks in the drift as well that he's lost. Um, <laughs> if you remember that too, because obviously he's all remembered that. Uh, no, we lost it. Mm -hmm. And then, um, <clears throat> don't mind if I do. The problem with that is, as you know, Urgalas, the uh, entity from the cocoon, uh, Obviously, took the star stone away. It's a bit of a tick. Yeah, right. Also, liquefied the dry queen. That seemed to be an okay move, though, for you guys. So, uh, I mean, it swings been around. Talking about her glass some more. It sounds like a Marvel comic. Um, hmm, that's probably on purpose. How dare you? <laughs> Galactos, um, Urgalas. Yeah. And then, let's see. What else have we got? Yeah, like I guess it just depends. Is the goal to go stop whatever that guy's doing? Or is it I mean, to get to the other I mean, side of the universe? Like, you know, the. I don't really know how we would go about it. So, wait until we uh, happen across something that will solve the problem first. <laughs> like that thing where you discovered that inventory item that you had, Colin? Where you were like, oh yeah, that thing that probably would take me straight to him. Do you remember? No? Colin. <laughs> what? I've lost track. So remember that inventory item that you discovered you had many moons ago? The, you like, yeah, fuck, yeah. And, oh, you like, oh. and you were like, wait a minute, yeah. I literally have the answer in my yeah, pocket. It's, it was like a simple, like, uh -huh. I don't know, it was like, say like 15 gold or something. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, right? But on the other <laughs> hand, that means a lot of other people also have it. Mm. Oh, we Star Stone and Compass are way too. I mean, yeah. he took the Star Stone, right? Yeah. It's it's almost like I went, if you want to go find that guy, look at the compass that points to the thing he took. <laughs> so now we've got the Death Compass, mm -hmm. and we just go in the opposite direction. Yeah, it's literally the Doom Compass. We go the opposite <laughs> way, um, unless you go all the way around and end up right at him. <laughs> so you need to go as far as you can until it starts spinning, and then you know you're either on top of him or as far away from him as possible. Uh -huh. Seems like a risk. Um, so yeah, that was a whole thing we never mentioned in the recap. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. The bad guy. Yeah. yeah, or at least one of them, right? Is he a bad guy? Is he a cosmic force? Is he both? And or neither? Who can say? Plus... Ryan, Ryan can say. I mean, I, I probably could say. Will I, though? Um, <laughs> well, I am. You've also agreed to help SK go raid the vaults to clear out Hamani. Um, yeah, no, we'll do that. I want to kill it. I mean, that's I mean, kind of like the group goal right now, I suppose. This is RP101. You get a chance to kill an evil dragon. Right. You kill the evil dragon. <laughs> Even right, if your game is set in space, you know Ryan's yeah. running the game. There's going to be a dragon somewhere. It's um, a space dragon game. It's that kind of game. Mm -hmm. That's what you, you, you got to do what you got to do, you know? There's also that, you know, missing void egg, missing solar egg thing going on as well. Um, that seems potentially problematic. Um, yeah. Hmm. Because mm. I believe Urgalas took the solar egg with him. So he took that. He took the star stone away. Hamani's away to raid the vault of the Drow Queen. And he swallowed the Drow Queen. Mm. So has her DNA to get into that vault. If you can call it DNA still, I guess. Well, no, yeah, it must something. be. Yeah. Presumably Drow have DNA. The past of Nyx, we assume, has some knowledge of the vault, and the present of Zig probably has knowledge of that too. Um, so that's a thing. And the group have agreed to help SK even though they... I don't know, I can never tell how you feel about SK. It's, um... Colin, it almost feels like Prisma all over again, a bit. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see. Weirdly. But, um... It would be played by the same actress, obviously, if this was a different series, you know. That's just how it works. Different character, same actress. Um... But yeah... S. Kate Isabel Furler. Fucking... Furler. Terrible name. Um, but yeah. Um, meanwhile, party goal. Would you just like to set one then? Since yeah. I feel like maybe it would be good overall direction because I don't mind having individual goals and a party goal. Um, so is it get to a point where you want to raid the vault or is it just raid the vault? Like, is that I mean, I think we should prepare first, but yeah. I feel like preparing yeah, would be good, <laughs> um, but I'm not giving these XP to prepare. I like, guess like raid the vault and like we can prepare. That's like obviously an over. Yeah, that that is part of completing the goal. That comes under yeah. Yeah. Um, so if somebody wants to put that into the star goals page or on the game manager uh, for me, you can type that up. I don't really care which one of you wants to do that. Um, that works for me. Um, yeah, MD, got anything else to add into either the recap or the goals chat? Not presently. Um, Relevant to the game? <laughs> no? Good. So, now we speak about... Relevant. I know. Mm. I don't know, I kind of tied you up with that, that one particular phrase. Uh, you knew it. <laughs> Wait, what? So, uh, yep, no, here we are. Tough going. Um, tough. Right, so... What is going on on this page, please? Someone talk me through. Because... I just assumed everybody had played The Sims. Um, uh, I mean, I played The Sims. wasn't good at it. I... 
delete hash time. Is that? I delegate. I mm. delegate hashtag time. I see. It was going to say hashtag um, time something. But I Are you shrinking? Writing. <laughs> 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 no, I believe you'd be becoming more high pitched if we were shrink. <laughs> <laughs> Kill him! <laughs> Kill him! Oh no! He shrunk so much. <laughs> He's been squashed by the microphone. <laughs> no. Or he fell into it. <laughs> oh god, that'd be terrifying. Um, He's in the digital land now. Yeah, let's hope he gets a really cool Digimon though. So. The uh, digital monsters. Digi He's gonna be on that Palmon. <laughs> thing. <laughs> A Paramon! A Paramon! That's a Paramon! That's the one! Paramon was a hoax. No, Paramon! Yeah, you gotta get a Paramon! Paramon hey. went to, um, like, that was a plant one, right? Yeah. And then it went to, like, Venusmon. Togemon. Togemon, that's the one, yep. And then Ivymon. Hello? Ivymon. Hello. Hey. Lilymon, sorry, Lilymon. Hello! I'm back. You're back, but you're so weirdly quiet. Oh, okay. So. Yes. Bizarre! This is what happens when I have to use my laptop. Sorry. Why don't you have? Why are you using what? My computer's in a box. I'm rearranging the flat. There we go. All right. Cool. Cool. Get in the box. Oh, fucking. Uh. So, does everybody want to vote? And we'll just do yes. this now. Everybody, move your token to the square in which you want the base to be. <laughs> 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 I mean, I think. I mean, I think Zig, uh, you need to go into a different box, Zig. So. Yeah, I know, I know. Um, it's, a, it's a really abstract, like, art student building you've wrote. So. <laughs> mostly it's a series of cupboards and walls that are freestanding. <laughs> freestanding or free falling. Let's go with. Badoof. Okay, you have voted. I yes. Well, well, well. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> blames it. Um, Sorry. Wow, well, I just as long as I have a hidden <laughs> right? as long as, as long as I feel like my stuff isn't accessible outside in the open, uh, then curious. that's that's fine. It's if fine. I did it, everyone would have just voted for it's themselves. It's fine. So. <laughs> <laughs> kind of good that I did. To be fair, <laughs> Nico raises a good point. If he votes for Collins or Collins <laughs> votes for his, <laughs> we can go for a tie. <laughs> then we all just go for mine because it's something I've had is drawn, which is just the plan that was like last week's, like, or the last time we were playing this like, <laughs> thing. <laughs> Let's fine. not do that because that would just like make everything a waste of time. Uh, I mean, the, the way I see it is like, so long as is that sort of criteria met, is met, like, oh, right, I don't feel like we're I'll not sort of make a tie. Open, I'm cool. I'll not make a tie, and Collins and You're all Axies traitors. are pretty similar, <laughs> anyway. Like, they're not too far yeah, apart. No, it's I, I, I really uh -huh. don't have an issue with any of them. Except from, I mean, it's like, sorry, it's... It's a bit... Wait, there's nothing wrong with this <laughs> contraption. It's a bit like when they get a child to draw a house to see how far along they are developmentally. <laughs> Wait, where does that come from? <laughs> <laughs> it's Ryan doing it, yeah, it's Ryan. Oh, okay. That's Alice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, wait, I know what I'm voting for now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so anyway, uh, good. I'm glad that worked itself out. It only took, yes. uh, what was it, like a month to do this step? Yeah. Well, um, yeah. Let's, yeah. Uh, we'd get there eventually. It Just was a good month, fine. though. Think, <laughs> yeah. yeah, pretty it's much. Fine. It's, it's okay. It took a month. Everything's fine. Um, right, so... Um, let us talk about what has happened in the next time skip, because quite frankly, I don't see the point in RPing the let's go buy the building part, because A, you mm -hmm. can't afford it, you'll be renting it, but also, let's just zoom in on the map, that is way too far, where did the building too go? Far. Right, so first of all, Alex, do you want to give us a tour of your base? Yes, welcome to our base. There are many left, but this Hi. one is ours. <laughs> um, so, oh Jesus Christ! Sorry, the cat. <laughs> My cat I love the idea that you walk into that room 
and there's just a cat. <laughs> oh, Jesus! <laughs> the, it's just that moment where I just look up about the wall on my wall hangings. Yeah. Cat oh, dangling. Hello, hello, cat. Um, Stop being a bastard. It's wearing its t shirt that says hang in there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> a little shit. Um, anyway, yes, welcome to my legit base for legit people. Mm-hmm. Um, so this front area. Is that why like Colin's big... not in it? <laughs> wow. <laughs> yes. Wow. 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 So, yeah, we have in the front space wow. this garage area mm-hmm. for working on people's vehicles and alarm clocks and whatever else they bring us. Mm-hmm. There's a little front office for Zig to do the sales pitch, pitch to people. <laughs> and Hi! Yeah, Welcome to Legit camera. Work! <laughs> it's not the worst name, actually. <laughs> Back here, we have storage space uh, for Legit Work mm-hmm. kind of storage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, people would expect to see. And a secret door to the shady storage. Mm-hmm. Where you put is, it, is the secret door a poster covering a hole in the wall that is a poster <laughs> of a cat saying hang in there? Yes, <laughs> entirely. Um, but yes, that's... Then you enter a corridor. Mm-hmm. A nice living area where there will be a kitchen and a seat. Mm-hmm. And ideally the living. Mm-hmm. Yes, uh, it's an area for living. Did. Although I imagine... So I, imagine was, band. <laughs> I imagine we're in this sort of place where realistically most of the time we'll be sitting on like patio furniture out the front of the garage mm-hmm. like drinking cans and waiting <laughs> around yeah no. or just standing front, like empty neighbors. propane tanks you know and yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 um, mm-hmm. and then obviously we've got the toilet in here mm-hmm. for your toilet's duties mm-hmm. and then many rooms for sleeping in mm-hmm. uh, and also Lyco's hole for <laughs> Spooky business. <laughs> God, it sounds so horrible. Like was all for <laughs> spooky business. <laughs> <laughs> oh, He's there, you. nicely hidden away. Like, do you want to join us in the, the hole for some spooky business? I'm already in my place. <laughs> 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 but yes, um, good. I think that's that seems to be acceptable. Um, yes. Right, now, do you remember the uh, conversation we had about accessibility and, well, all those things? What were the exact terms? Where were we? There was three specific things, I think I said, that we had to talk about. And it was how accessible it is, like how nearby or remote it is. Um, Then how, I guess, what were the other two? There were definitely two. It was the facilities of the place, and um, I, guess I feel like I wrote them down somewhere in chat, but then apparently I'm scrolling up in the chat, and no, I don't see, chat. I don't actually see any of those words, so, hmm. no, none of those words, that's fine, we'll just skip that. Um, budget, Nico. You have all the money as Zoro. Well, I've got seventy grand. Mm-hmm. Well, between me and the ship's funds. So, how much are you spending on this place? That will matter. <clears throat> I mean, I feel like how much would they have spent on the ship? Because I would have probably came first for him. Personally, they'd probably been spent the his money on the ship. Well then. Maybe you have to have that conversation out then. So, next five is obviously found facilities alongside Colin and Lyco, I should say. Um, maybe next five's outlined, you know, this proposition for legit work. And Lyco's went, good, I know what I need in addition to this. And Lyco's went out and sourced suitable locations, of course, uh, budget requirements, etc. Uh, so, what is that conversation? Maybe you all meet up. I am having done said recon. What's the the gist of all this? Why don't you have that mm, conversation? Because obviously <coughs> you might need to decide where your funds go. Because maybe well, you just need to start making money to get the ship back in track. It's true. Mm-hmm. We obviously the uh, the idea was some sort of 
vehicle hole. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. Um, the, uh, presumably, this this is you know that idea comes up first, um, and then from that we sort of drive what we're doing. So, uh, I mean, what what is the idea then? Like, if we could nail that down exactly first, like. So, business, something, or maintenance or, or upgrading of vehicles, and something, something that would tie in perhaps to our own desire to work on the uh, the ship, such as it is. Yeah, so I imagine it's vehicle repairs and recovery, probably within the city. Or maybe yeah. you know, starting with repairs, moving up towards the recovery end. As I was gonna say, because you might have to buy an actual stuff. vehicle for that. Yeah, for yeah, the recovery. Yeah, that'd be really, that'd be really handy once we uh, get uh, it. Unless Zig can just, look. Do you get any good telekinesis? I, I don't, I don't think of. Uh, no, not yet. Mm. What about you, um, Zora? Soon. Uh, still got. Thing about you, thing about cracky. I don't thing. know what any of this means. This is all vent to me. <laughs> uh, I too have things. What is it actually called? Let me, let me, <laughs> gravity hold? Is, it so, is that what it's called? Let, let me see. I think it's gravity hold. Uh, what do you mean you don't know the intricacies of your I've own? I've technically hand? got a psychokinetic hand. <laughs> so, so what we all do. <laughs> I think Lyco is the one that doesn't have a psychokinetic hand yet. There's probably a <laughs> weird sure necro. I'm, I'm pretty no. sure ah, I don't have a psychokinetic guns. hand at all. <laughs> I cast gun. Um, yeah. No, no I don't. You've got telekinetic projectile though. Um, yeah, only Jude Combat is mine technically. <laughs> Better than psychokinetic and it's only John Combat. So well, there is no no recovery option as of yet between you guys. Mm -hmm. Um Yeah. In which case I imagine part of the business is people coming into us with custom jobs mm -hmm. and us making the their stupid plans a reality. Okay. Because yeah, like we, putting, we do that. You know, a spoiler on the back of a front wheel drive car and things like that. Yeah. Uh, or you know, trying to hide weapons in cars so, and whatnot. Well, we call it hype. spoiler in the front slightly shady. So is it going to be like hype my hover? Is that what it's going to be called? Yeah. Instead of pimp my raid. And we can kind of work on. Yeah, so we can do like legit work for legit businesses, car and hole. also do some car hole. <laughs> <laughs> is it weird that car hole sounds like a place, doesn't it? We also on a. Turn the garage into a mini bar, and uh, <laughs> you come. So there's yeah. like a, a weird coyote ugly scene there with the the car hole. I can't take <laughs> the moonlight. I mean, I'm <laughs> picturing next five immediately goes Akatonian on this, and it's walking around <laughs> like half coveralls with a beer at all times. <laughs> oh yes. Instead of a scarf, it's just two extra arms. Like yeah, <laughs> full on show bed. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, the good thing about the idea of having a mechanical business is that Alice can probably help out with some of that, which is good. Indeed. Um, given that she actually, you know, is like a person and such. Here in the dark you surrender your heart. <laughs> um. But yeah, so now, now comes the choice. Zora. How much are you investing in the business versus uh, the ship? Well, I feel like... Right. Hmm. I guess the way sh the deal would have went down, I'm guessing, is they went to the shipyard, probably couldn't get the ship recovered, need a shit ton of money for a new ship, so probably need to make money for a ship. So no, no, that, well. that scene hasn't happened yet. You're now at the part where Lyco has calmed in and said, right, I've got what you've needed, but how much are we spending? And then okay. the mic goes over to you. Uh, but we didn't. Didn't we have that conversation though? I thought we had that conversation. And the result like, we worked it down out of character, but did we actually work it out in character I in terms so. of that? I feel like we could, as in like not like the actual price, but like then wasn't there like the whole consensus. I feel like, like maybe we just sort of wrote it off as that we would have spoken about it. Actually, that that is Right. That now oh. is coming back to me. <laughs> yes, I think but out of the money you have, I need to know how much you spend on making this place um, safe 
I mean, like, 30,000? 20,000? Does that sound... You'd be lucky to get the building for less than 20. If this is yeah. something that is going to return money to us, if this isn't just a money sink, then we should be willing to spend a bit on it, I think. That will really uh, depend on how well the roles go between um, Nix5 and Alice. Oof. Uh... I, I can also bounty hunt, so it's fine. <laughs> you might be needed, though, along with Zora to drum up business, though. Mmm. Mmm. One might say that everybody will be doing a roll towards the success of this place. Okay. Um, it just depends on how much you start off with. So, I mean, this could be a legitimate side business, or it might even just be the absolute waste of time on verses that at least hide you off the grid for a bit. Um, who knows? But I need Zora to make a decision because Zora has the money. Um, well, like 30, 40,000 then, I suppose. Those are two different numbers. <laughs> 40,000? <000? laughs> 35 going between. Yeah. There we go, 35. So, you want to essentially cover the cost of the building and that's it. Um, I mean... Because keep in mind this includes like... Let's be real, like, like Zara would be a lot more interested than like spending all his money on getting the ship fixed. He probably oh, wouldn't 100%, care about it. 100% but I want to know how much you screw everybody over when it comes to the base because the more you spend on it the more secure, the more remote, the more like say profitable it might become. That is a thing, right? The more money you put into the setup, the better its chances are, right? If you skimp okay. on that, you might be able to get the ship recovered, but then you still need to repair the ship. And so you, don't have any, you also don't have anywhere to keep the ship. As well as, like, how much are we actually going to be doing on Versys here? You also like, don't have anywhere to store the ship. Like... So you'd need to have somewhere to store the ship. My thinking in terms of why we particularly concerned with, with you know, versus, uh beyond obviously the fact that there is immediate stuff there. We don't really have a base of operations because, you know, we were sort of using Absalom. <laughs> yeah, right, you were using Absalom, but really you lived in the ship in Absalom, right? Yeah, pretty much. pretty much. Because why would you pay for a berth in Absalom when you can just stay in the ship in the docking? Area. And it certainly seems like um, obviously moved around a lot, but that that seemed to be the recurring base of operations, and it is like the sort of. Well, he's worked for Aspis, and they they paid for your docking fees, so. That solar systems culture, it's like it is the big. Essentially, think of it as a port city, mm -hmm. right? It's where everything meets. So, just to me. It's the ideal sort of location for a base. Now, it's off the cards. I think Versys is a pretty good alternative, and it's also where uh, Happenstance uh, and the plot have taken us. Mm -hmm. So I think it Totally didn't just roll a dice for what planet to pick. Yep. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I think it makes sense for, for us to remain here for some time. And I don't uh -huh. think it hurts to have something we can return to. Yeah, I don't think the idea of actually building a base is a terrible idea. Like, actually having an asset that isn't just, mm -hmm. you know, that one ship that... Because we never got... I'm all for I'm all full of base. I just don't know, like... But this thing... We don't, we're not saying you need to spend all your money on this. I want to know what Zora is doing. That's the difference, because I get Nico's thought process. I want the ship back. Zora's thought process. I want my ship back. And then that's fine. Spend all the money getting the ship recovered, getting it put into a dock. But then you don't have any money to get the thing fixed. You could probably buy like enough to get it recovered. And let's say you've got, what, 70k? You could get someone yeah. to recover the thing, store it. Let me actually then, double check. Uh, but let's let's say it is seventy k, right? So for that, you could probably get somebody to recover the ship, store it, so it can get repaired in a kind of docking bay, if you will, like a repair bay. But then you're not going to have much left to actually start repairing it at that point. You would probably be able to get somebody to start beating it back into shape, right? Or maybe start to like fix the hull. But then 
you don't have an engine. Like, most of the systems were fried inside because of the patch jobs. You got, like, you know, I'd say you've got maybe about, what, 30% of ship left? Never mind, you'll also probably want to go with the recovery team to disable the probably. problems. Probably. Um, <laughs> you know, like, mm. I'll just get him a map, you know? Like, I'll just paint, like, red circles on a map. Like, on it. <laughs> I feel like we did that. Did we put red circles on the other map? <laughs> I, I think we did, I. <laughs> Like, hmm. Yeah. Uh, it also just depends, like, do you want the same ship? Do you want a different ship? Like, it's the mean, 11th hour, right? So. I mean, he's probably not adverse to getting a new ship. Like, <laughs> it's like, That's if not all of the cards. Mm. But then he's like not he's sentimental about it, but he's not like that sentimental. It's more like we need like a replacement, at least, if you know what I mean. Like Yeah, so let's move to bigger the bigger gun, you know, like like seems like a very best way to look at it. So I like this one. Yeah, I've moved this over to the the old map. But yeah, I mean I guess like we'll just call it like 50,000 and we'll be done with it. Right. On what though? The ship or the, uh, the no, base? No, the, the base. The base, like. So, from what I remember, that's a bomb, that's a bomb, that's a bomb. I mean, <laughs> I can say that I can put in 50 as well. I mean, so a lot of people have money as well. I mean, they do, but we kind of yet to determine how much actually. <laughs> It was it was unclear. Very unclear. Yeah. Um, I think. I feel like I think I'd feel to update mine was the issue. I I failed to update mine last time, um, but I feel like Zig would be happy to just throw in everything because, let's face it, he's. I know that Zig did not child. get the big chunk of money. He I know that because that was like when you were kind of. Beyond, that was like just before time skip. Like I can't remember when did we get like that. I think it was like half thousand. Or you something. went to speak to Emma O. I was Emma with, O. Uh, was Emma, that's right. Aye, with Emma, right. we got half Emma. And aye. her exact offer was, I don't know, was he just want like a moon? And then you were aye. like, ah. <laughs> should I took that moon, man? Should I took that fucking moon? That would have been the base I wanted, right mm -hmm. there, man. Like done. And then yeah, you never no, you just took a chunk of money. And then she said she, would re she repaired. She did repair the ship at that point for you, though, because remember all the landing gear was fucked. Because um, mm -hmm. remember that dropping the ship into a cave thing that happened. Um, that was fun. Sometimes you gotta drop into. Yeah, um, so that happened. Just like you dropped into the atmosphere of verses. <laughs> um, was good old uh, escape. What else we got? Right, so. I think you just need to work out a final figure of what your spending cash is, so why don't you do that now? So we can just, like, put a pin in this step of the well, game. What did we reckon the cut was for everyone in the previous thing? So, uh, the, the, because I spent 33, 000. like 4,000. We split it three ways. I'm pretty sure it was 100,000. So, I likely have, as I say, I spent upward to four. Let's call it five. Um, so you're thinking, like, 28, but then presumably there's a little ship tax in there as well. There probably would have been uh, I would say if we just say 20 ship. like I'm happy to just say you have probably 20k on you like without any dispute that seems reasonable. I think that is. Well. I think Lyke was quite happy to chuck in half of that. I think he would need some for himself for uh, yeah. well, biomechanical reasons. Why don't, why don't people chuck in then into the actual chat here Um Let's just dump it here, right? Just type in the value you're willing to throw in so we can calculate it. Ten. Tank. Tank! Yep. I never have money, Ryan. <laughs> it's just a rolling gag with me, isn't it? It's yeah. like, literally. <laughs> I get though, money out here. Uh, take to, all the money. To be fair, you did have like 16 or something K as a. Andar. For ages, 
Yeah, I didn't know that. No, like that was literally where we went. And I pure like spending spree on clays because I didn't actually realise I had money. <laughs> yeah, I think it was like as soon as I had money, I went and got spend. I think it was like was it the second last session where literally uh, no, you and Stephen go into the flagship fucking store on Nilhutta and you spend shit tons of money. Gib buys three sets of cutlery just so they can try and sneak in knives. You're like, why are you buying spoons, Gib? <laughs> yeah. Spoon. Uh, right, so what's her total there? Uh, maths. 85. Right, 85k to play with, right? Do we, so, say we, do we say we had 20 grand? I said Colin Each. had 20 grand. Ah. Uh. Or, you yeah. should have met, you should have your figures all calculated since you're usually oh, the yeah. one that's on top of this shit. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know things, Alex, people expect you to continue to know them. Well, ah. Actually my figures do look calculated. Mm -hmm. I was kinda hoping uh, you would have tracked everybody else's yep. as well, ideally. <laughs> <laughs> There's only so much my spreadsheets can do. Mm -hmm. um, when people use them, Colin. <laughs> I mostly just try and remember things. So I think you're um, sitting on what, fourteen? Yeah. I, yeah, I'm on 14. Actually, I'm going to be just under 10k because there's power armor that is <laughs> like 5k. <laughs> I'm actually starting to love Although, I'm also considering whether the power armor counts as operational costs. <laughs> well, why don't you just. Like, why don't you have it where, right? Because obviously. Why don't you only put 5k in then and make it easier? Then yeah. that way you save yourself yeah. whatever the other changes. So I will put myself in 5k yeah. instead. I can't delete. Yeah. yeah. So what are we on there now? 70... 80? Is that 80 now? Even? And Yes. So 80. It's not a bad operational budget, quite frankly. Now, much you spending on the base, much you spending on the All ship. Right. Are you going to try and secure oh, the remains of the ship in any way? Or... We did, with all those bombs. <laughs> yeah, that's, I mean, yeah, yeah, somewhat secure. So, put it this way, buying a new ship will be more expensive, depending on, like, equal or better will be more expensive. Buying something maybe even slightly less than what the 11th hour is will possibly still cost more than repairing the 11th hour. Given that you have 30% of a ship left already. However, that ship is pretty fucked, hence the 70% of it that needs repaired, give or take maths. Mm -hmm. um, recovering it without you blowing up three parts of it will be interesting. Then, but as long as you're willing to actually guide the people or go with them, that's fine by me. Um, so the incendiary grenades. Well, just send fireproof the people. grenades, though. Yeah. I mean, they, they do blow up. Yeah. <clears throat> Not like it's just fire. No, yeah. I mean, even then. And Zora is <laughs> no, bad I'm with saying. fire. Um, so, God, fucking sometimes the goblins win. Um, <laughs> that was so clever. I, yeah. I have to say, whoever came up with that, um, wow. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> 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 then we've got... <coughs> so, you could probably get the ship stored and recovered for, let's say... Give me a dice roll. Roll me some charisma there. Oh. Something like, I don't know, is it negotiate a skill? Pick me a diplomacy. I don't know. Diplomacy. Yeah, well, we've tried to figure this one out. Yeah. Roll the Prodigus. Yeah. <laughs> Diplodocus. Roll the Prodigus. Yep. Run to Ahoo. Yeah, 18 Diplodocus. Yep. Diplodocus, 18. Actually, I have plus three to show, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the swimming one? No. Um, uh, no, sauropods are most of the huge ones. Sauropods oh, okay. and theropods are the two families. What's the theropods theropod one? are the ones that still exist and go chirp. Is it maybe ple is it plesiosaur? Is that what I'm thinking of then? The uh, plesiosaurs are a water ones. group yeah. of water-based, long-necked reptiles. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Cool. Not dino boys. Not dinosaurs, no? Yeah. Yep, not dinosaurs. So, with an 18, you could probably get the thing recovered and stored for 30k. But nothing's going to happen to it. 
Uh, can I? Can I? Mm, uh, can I do this as well then? Boing. Boing. <laughs> right. So you're gonna then just tell me what all that text means in a okay. second. Okay, I'm going to quickly right, tell you that right. <laughs> DC-10 culture <laughs> To recognise your name, DC-20 culture check for someone to recognise your context, blah blah blah, appearance, blah blah blah, okay? Right. 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 Uh, <laughs> this is just basically for services, this thing for services only. I would say this is a service, right? Mm hmm Right? Uh, mm hmm Take two D four rules, but I guess we're just kind of time skipping to this point. So, like, okay. at the GM's discretion, fans might give you services, although not goods, for a discount or even for free. That's basically it. That's basically it. So, you, check. so you're going to make me so a, on your discretion. You're going to make me a culture check then, yep. or am I making the culture check about you? Uh, I think I've got to do it. a DC. 10 culture check to recognize your name and a DC 20 culture check for you. So, uh, I feel like I'm meant to make this. Famous stuff. Yeah, the, the way it reads in the first. Yeah, I think I meant it, to make it. So uh, let me do some Famous roles. enough to pretty much, uh, that pretty much everyone has either heard of you or can quickly find information about you. It's a DC 10 culture check to recognize your name. Um, Mm -hmm. So, uh, now they don't know who you are. They're just another Vesk. Oofed. Racist. I mean, it's definitely, it's definitely you who's supposed to roll for it. It's like 9,000%. Yeah, I'm totally, I shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> so, maybe Shit. the scene is that Zora. Here's the in th the cost implications of the base. Realizes that the more money you sink into the well, base, what's the point in it giving the culture this whole line and stuff? Then, no. because so I'm not getting I, here. well, let's just well, look at how many languages Alex can speak. Yes, and then move back to this question, right? So, the thing is, though, why would you rule culture for people to recognize you? Ah, uh, right. And let's move on. So, the. Oh, so these aren't people with NPC sheets, right? These are literally mooks that work in the shops and such. So, yeah. I don't really see them having much in the way of modifiers. Like, even with, like, an unlikely plus four. But shouldn't the average no, so the sort of person who... People who are impressed by celebrity... You think right. so? Should it not the be more impressive to them oh. than two dragons and things like that? It just it feels counterintuitive to me. Mm. But now the culture check is for people a specific person to recognise you, whereas he can just say that he takes two d four hours to find a fan. That's kind here. of pathetic. <laughs> oh yeah. But he can just bumble around town, going, "Hey, do you know who I am?" <laughs> Until somebody says yes, <laughs> or he can post on Facebook and just be like, "Hey, I'm in Versys. Hit me up." Oh my god, you're Zora the Abyss. <laughs> <laughs> Just picturing himself on Facebook, wandering around the streets. Well, yeah, let, let's, let's have a look <laughs> at that, right? So, we're looking at the last half of this um, celebrity. Nico, this is your choice here, right? You've wandered around, you've done that thing where you lean in to the garage, and you go, are you sure that's going to be a... 30,000. And they went, that that's what it says. I even translated it into Vesk for you. And then now you have this moment where you can throw your name around, but it's going to remove any anim anonymity, I should say, mm. of you on this planet. Oh, the base. I've not got a base yet. But you're going to have the ship. <laughs> Docked somewhere, I probably nearby, so you just can actually affect a security to said ship since it's literally just put in like a hangar, right? So there you go, right? You can get this at a discount, but you're going to be compromising your security. 
in what way you'll never know until like I've got to ask you good yeah how, <laughs> how, how like sadly you've used that lifeline you're only down to phone a friend um, <laughs> realistically how fucking likely are we to lay low in here though as in like not be discovered I'm like a 7 foot tall albino <laughs> vesk in a planet covered in vesk now I know but like there's no many that's 7 foot tall in albino it is a dude they I mean, won't necessarily know that. That's the thing. Like the other species, you mm. could, you might not, st- the you might not might know it's that. that unusual for you. Like you, yeah, you still stand out. But they might go, huh, oh, that's an albino vesk. Also, they might not realise, you know, it's however many in a million. Yeah. Plus, they don't have like random species database tablets on them, Nico. Right? Who would carry I mean, such a thing? I know. I do. Who would? <laughs> Puts away his speech <laughs> <laughs> that he borrowed from Andor. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, ah, yeah, right. But this is, I mean, it's on you, man. It's on you. Why is this always happening every game? You're the captain. I'm about, yeah, I can't, I can't use. I'm not allowed to use. <laughs> I I never said you couldn't. I'm I'm letting you use it, but you can't say, "Hey, I'm I'm super famous. Look at me. Give me a discount," and then go, "Yeah, but don't don't remember me, please." Bye. Yeah. It works both ways. It's to say, like I'm yes. I'm quite quite fond of giving the players the interpretation they want, but it has to work both ways. For example, if the sword gives you a plus one. MDI I use the sword with also gets the plus one. That seems fair. So I have infinite me's. You just have one you. <laughs> so yeah, <clears throat> Zora. I do. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I'm, obviously I can only advise, this, <laughs> but like, I think it might be more possible than you think to keep a low profile simply because I don't know that other people are necessarily going to immediately grasp that you stand out in some significant way because to them yeah. a vesk is a big scary thing and what's the difference between you know and versus is very seven, populated six, ten, right? and seven yeah and like was like obviously the more money you spend the more clandestine the base is going to be anyway right so save money by outing yourself and then spend the saved money on securing the base the minimum the base is going to cost is Probably twenty k, and that gets you walls. <laughs> Maybe not even doors, right? Then to recover the ship and store it, and we're gonna use air quotes for storing the ship because who knows how long that's gonna last? Thirty k, right? So that let's just why don't we take this in chat so we've got some actual visuals, right? So, um. Bare bones base. Bare bones base equals twenty k. It gets you like nothing. You need to buy everything to make it a thing. Um, then you've also got a uh, recover and store ship. Thirty k. But that buys you the time you would need to effect repairs. The only thing is, you obviously don't have anything to repair it with. Because you would actually need a drift engine. So, celebrity. We did the well, role, be... nobody recognised you. Now you can push that and be like, I'm the abyss. <laughs> I'm the abyss, baby. Even you stand in that one <laughs> pose that's on every single poster. Uh, or well, the problem you just being right now is I don't even have 30k. Like, there's not even 30k left. Uh, I mean, you've got an 80k operational budget. What are you talking about? Well, it was 80k for the base. No, it's 80k. You've not spent it yet. I mean, do you speaking to the people about the ship came first? The AAK conversation was what everyone's willing to chip in. Okay. Oh, well, and also partly, 
If we put it that way, I mean, I didn't actually realise it was like that operational. I would just shove like 60k in and call it 90. And yeah, then I guess I'll pay the money for the ship. Without using celebrity? Without using celebrity. Okay. I think it's a wise choice. Yeah. Alright, so what's that? 90k total. No. Then minus 30k for ship. Unless you want to spend more to get them to start repairing it for you. I'm pretty broke now. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have we have some crew members who are maybe quite useful. Well, you, for you've this. currently got um, 60k left over at the moment. We'll, we'll, I'll figure some other way to get some more money. There's a will, there's a way. Cool. Are you going to go with them to get um, the bombs disabled? Or... That could be a money-making opportunity. Aye, let's go. Like, let... <laughs> How so? Talk me through that, Zora. If they die, you can loot their corpses. Yes. Exactly, we could get attacked by bandits to loot, you know. <laughs> You've got <laughs> your gold equipment yeah. to recover it at that point as well, so, you know, win-win. I, I mean, I do have a, 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 a sand map already prepared, oddly. <laughs> <laughs> I could sell I'm a couple of like, June buggies, you know, like... <laughs> Yeah, but could you start melting metals into the shape of a ship, perhaps? Um, well, who knows? I think we all know. You, um, you don't know until you try. <laughs> right, so... What else are we dealing with? Right, let's move on to the base budget. Are you spending 60k on the base? Or are you going to save yeah, some of that? Yeah, well just shove the rest in the base, I suppose. That does mean that you're kind of hoping that the base makes money. That's base bear fucking yeah, make money. Yeah, we can make more than that. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> now I cannot help this base make money because I'm not allowed to use my name anymore. So like it's all on you. Do you still have powers and abilities and skills? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could you could lift my tools for me. Like was going to be going stealthy, you know. Look, and um, you know, you know, after closing hours, I can open like a wee mystic meg fortune telling. Uh... <laughs> Was she just irradiate people and rob them? Like what? The, the, <laughs> what do you think is happening in the front office? <laughs> <laughs> it's just the Geiger well, counter. I mean... Oh dear. <laughs> they had like this big PR scheme, like plastered my face on posters and shit, you know. But nah, can't well, do it anymore. <laughs> right, so sixty k <laughs> left of the operational budget. What are you sinking into the base? Realistically, I mean, do you just want to go all in on the base? I like, think we go for the 60. I, I think, think we, we go, go for 60, <laughs> including sort of, you know, like, that's that's including, like, this would be, you know, your business starting money as well. Right, well, yeah, it's, it's, it's just a question, right. do we want to grab a wee vehicle or something out of that first? Yeah, I was going to say, do you want to try and oh, buy something? So, yep, um, let's have a look at the vehicles that we have as well, because I think we spoke about it a bit before. Um... Anything in mind, Alex, out of interest? Um, let me a quick look. You get a hover truck for 7k. Um. <laughs> but then where do we keep it? Well, we stick it on the road in front of our base. Mm -hmm. With yeah, the yeah. Le legit works. No, oh, sorry, car hole. Shine well, down the side of the car. that we've got okay. as well. What can we do with him? Surely we could do something with him. With what? Sell what, them or right? some Repair them. With what, sorry? The two buggies. The two gym buggies that we've got. Because they're just still, still just impounded right now, practically. Just grab them for parts. Oh, did we park them outside, actually? We just left them outside, actually, didn't we? Yep. Did we drive them in? I can't remember. Nothing much. Did our cars say we had to, had to look after them, though? Mm, I don't know. Your, your equipment... Like your okay. weaponry and such. I thought it, I thought it would include Remember, it. that was all like scanned through, and then it was like, yeah, well, maybe keep Never this till you're leaving. Um, she did then say if you could store that stuff, you know, do that, but that's probably under the property of the stewards now. You know, since that's where Shackles yeah, works that's for. That's why that. I said that booted. That's why mm. I said that booted. Yeah. Um. So they're probably retrievable. That's a lot of problem as well. Yeah, that's. Is I'm kind of broke and I've got no guns. Then, like, what no guns? 
If you leave Versus, you can get your stuff back, right? So, that was part of the deal. Uh, yeah, I feel like we're going to need the Versus at some point, probably. <laughs> 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 yeah, we, we are going to, but, you know, it will be good to have some sort of base there, I think. I, I, I don't expect us to, like... You know, play out the rest of the game on Verses necessarily. Agreed. You know? uh, Excuse yeah. me, this is my career from now on. <laughs> this is it. Yeah, we're staying here. We're playing. We're playing. Um, hovercraft maintenance manager. Mm -hmm. Yep. Or in alternative style, we could get it up and running, and then employ people in it, and just have yeah. it. we should have like a little money making farm. And then we can travel around the solar system, setting up a franchise. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Hype my hover franchise. Yep. Car. Car. Carhole oh, intergalactic. <laughs> intergalactic Carhole, yeah. Carhole, near you. Uh, yeah, we, we can get a hover truck for 7k. Should probably. We should yeah, probably go for And then, I mean, it's then it's rig that into a tool. What book is um, the Carhole? The Armory. The Armory. The Armory. Okay, let me go. Let me armory. The Carmory. Yep. Amusingly, uh, <laughs> the hover truck is probably too long to fit into our garage. Um, yeah, it is. We're over here. Hover artillery, no. Hover Not tank, yet. no. Hover truck. But I am turning the hover truck into a hover artillery at some point. So it is 30 foot long. It's a gargantuan land and water vehicle. Um, dear gods. Right, okay. So There's only three passengers, but it's got an expansion bay. So we can mm -hmm. either just use it as storage. Right, or so. we could even make it a mobile workshop. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Interesting. It'd be good for the, the recovery. Kit works on the road. Hmm. Let me load this up and we'll see if I can get you a wee screenshot of this then for the chat. That's probably useful. Let's make a handout for this. Uh, where I put this handout, I have no fucking idea. Click on the button, journal, there we go. Where is the player stuff? Why is that not a thing I have? Players. Let's make a subfolder called st PC stuff. Let's make a handout for that. Add a handout. What page is this on? It's on 138 of the armory, I think. Please stand by, everyone. We'll just make this a wee bit Standing more by. accessible. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, I'll pop this into boom, chat for the sake of it being in somewhere. And then. Where did this handout go? Mysterious boom, note, boom, there we go. Edit, mysterious note. Boom, 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 Here first, and last. Scared of the lily fat. Scooby doo ba 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 Right, so, hover truck. Christ. Hover fuck, more like it. Oh, 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 me. oh man! <laughs> what do you just want to do with the expansion bay? Do you just want to spend money on that now? <laughs> Um, mm -hmm. I mean, presumably okay. this is probably going to start as salvage, so probably get better space for now. Leave it as cargo space? Yeah. Since that's what all the... Yeah. Yeah. And we can Find send people... Full recovery. Oh, yeah, I haven't done that yet. This is the return to form. Mm. Of course, There he's Also, while we're here, does like I want a motorcycle. No, no, he's more of a on foot guy, more so. Okay. Uh, who's going to go buy the hover truck? Yes. Uh, the vehicle <laughs> people. I'm an yeah. on foot boy. I'm a pedestrian. <laughs> Leave me alone. No, you are pedestrian. There's a difference. I'm kidding. Um, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
Right, who's gonna go buy the hover truck? I need a name. I'll give it a, I'll give it a try. Cool, roll charisma or the diplomacy or whatever it's called. Roll uh, Shari's me. Yep. Zero. Cool. Enjoy oh, enjoy paying ten grand for it. Yep. Oh <laughs> <laughs> Can Wait. I can I is is there is there like a help you out? <laughs> not not, not with that roll. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. As you just push next to Wingo. <laughs> I'm sorry, he isn't able to buy things. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> right, so the hover truck costs 10k. Right, so you're going to get 50k for the base. Uh, uh. Going to spend all of that on the base, 50k? Sure, yes. Sure, Bambo, yeah? Yeah, sink it. On base. Sink cool. Money, not the base. So, actual costs. Right, so. Hover truck for 10k. A recovery slash store. Recovery store ship was 30k. Then base 50k. There we go. Okay, good. We have all that sorted. Right. Now, let's talk about roles. A weird subject for roleplay. Oh man, spy cruisers are awesome. Anyway, let's start with um, Zig. Yo yo! We're gonna obviously need you guys to get. This will be a montage moment. Where, uh, also in fact, let's let's do a little thing first. Zora, see when you're off to go disable all those bombs. Do you want to get yes. that? Want to give me a roll for that? Uh, okay. What you want? What no, you for the bomb. I feel survival is probably the most apt roll, right? But you tell me what skill you think it would be. Um. Uh, like what is exactly it's getting happening? You're yep. going with the salvage team to uh, salvage right, okay. the ship. So that you don't get them all uh, killed, because uh, you're basically hiring people to say, "Can you go drive out into the middle of nowhere that's super dangerous and recover my ship that I have rigged to explode, please?" Either profession or survival, I would say. It's probably like, survival. Let's face it. Yeah, I'll go with survival. I'll do and they it. gave you profession if you went all in on your celebrityhood, but yeah. Eh. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll take that. Okay, survival. Boom. Brilliant. Um, so, see the grenades? Uh, yes. Set me in fire. What's the damage on one of them? Uh, do I still have it stored? Please tell me I still have it. I'm, I, I'm sure they had a delete it for mine. Ah, I don't know. Uh, oops. It's 1d6 plus 1d4. Okay, so do you wanna just roll that damage on yourself then? Okay, it does no damage. Good. It would never do damage to me. It could never do damage to me. I've got too much fire resist. What well, is your fire resist currently? Twelve. Nice. You're actually covered. I'm <laughs> actually a good <laughs> test. Still, <laughs> still need you to roll the damage though. Okay. Um, oh god, god it kisses other people. With yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. That's not right. I guess a five. What is that? It's just hard. <laughs> what is that? It's just hard. <laughs> F. Sorry. F. F. I assume that's F for fire. Yeah, yeah F for fire. Yeah, but what's yes. the? So it's one d six. But then is the burn only for a crit, or I feel like the burn's also meant to be there. Uh, uh, yes, if that... it doesn't say yeah, it's a crit. Yeah. Plus four. Yeah. Why did it just roll like that? That's what I want to know. So do you want to roll a d4 as well for me? But let me... Can I click this again? Just, sure, just, why not? So, there we go, that's much better. There we go. That's got both from like, 3 plus 1. Let's see. Right, okay, so it's the, the 1 that matters then, since we already have... 
I don't really get what that other role is above. Who even knows what that's meant to be? Why Why is it broken, Nico? I don't know why it broke, because I clicked the exact same thing. <laughs> and it just... Yeah, it's a so bug. it doesn't really matter. It's the top roll that we really care about, because we realised that actually rolled right anyway, the first one. Yeah. So, yeah. Cool. Um, the team of people that go out to salvage this ship with their ridiculous, like, I guess, convoy of hover sleds. Um, yeah. You, like, lead every day, like, so casually, and maybe you don't care because you're so callously, like, immune to so much fire. You, like, open the doors, have to jury rig them open because you've rigged them to be shut. Grenade goes off, and two people end up with third degree burns then there's a bit of a oh, panic so terrible in this, sci- this sci-fi world right? They've probably got some glip that just makes it all nice and better like. so <laughs> oh, on the bright side <laughs> getting rid of the competition yeah hmm. so mm. Nico there's mm. a new complication yes are you, gonna, complication. are you gonna pay the company off so it's for the money. <laughs> just my break. Oh, we're the one that got them blowing up. Uh, it's hazard pay, surely they've got hazard pay, right? They also have the ability to say you took them to the, the fucking desert and blew them up. Legal. I told them problem. about it, they accepted the job. Must have been a part of the job, right? There's bombs in it. Like, I assume you <laughs> asked them to say sign the waiver. Yeah, I mean <laughs> Sadly, all legal documents were burned up. Uh, and they all carried them in their person for some reason. Um, so yeah, you could try a charisma roll to get out of it if you wanted. So I'm yeah, absolutely of... try that. <laughs> absolutely try that. Let's see how I'll this goes. Like... Right, let's let's see if you do well because you're bound to roll well once. So I'll just I'll just play. I'm really sorry about that. Like, I'd say stand back. Well, I mean, like, it's just really... scene wipe to a uh, Lyco bailing you out of a. Uh, the stewards. Do, do, wait, wait, wait. Come on, just give me how, give Straight me your di- as well, diplomacy. Oh, it's diplomacy, right? Yeah. You're a diplomat, it'll be fine. Yeah. This was literally Zora's job. Oh, that's a terrible role! So your choice is pay them money or they will arrest uh, they will not arrest you, but they'll report you to the stewards. Ah uh, it's Mm-hmm. I care about that really. <laughs> you tell me. Yeah, it's. it's I mean, I don't really care about that. Um, <laughs> well, I really don't. To be honest. So this is Zora slowly killing everyone in the desert now. Uh, um. I'll, 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 I'll just say it. I'll, I'll pay off your 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 company later. I'll sort of you know, like, <laughs> I just don't. Now I feel like that's the problem though, they, they, the choice is give them money to stay quiet or they will oh, go to the stewards. That's how much he's buying here, there's 500 each. Like, I'll get you like a good meal, I'm really sorry. <laughs> yeah, so they they expect uh, 15k. Do you think you can kill them all? 15k, so no, they report me to the stewards. Okay. So you sure you want to do that? You sure you want to get the side, bad side of the vest? <laughs> Intimidate! So, 15k <laughs> offer rejected. Oh god. Reported to Stuart. I don't have 15k to pay, so fuck it, shit. It just means you have to spend less on the base, that's all. <coughs> so, right. Okay. So that went fuck disastrously, god. your salvage mission. <laughs> um, because yeah. you did rig the thing to explode. Um, there is one thing, though. The ooze survived. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes! Yes, yes, yes! Can you feed them to the ooze or will it not eat biological material? So, We've never are any of them androids? <laughs> Sigh. So, I know, right? Fucking racism. Um, things are a bit different with the ooze. The, um. Yeah. Do you want to roll perception or whatever this skill's called? Uh, yeah, um, sure. Mm. Who's? <laughs> so why do I roll a twenty-six? 
Probably because you're like, fucking hell, and your eyes are just wide with shock at burning two people to third I, degree. I agree. I'm yeah. angry. Perception is the amazing. <laughs> And then, <laughs> you, were li- you were literally a fucking diplomat. I'm so angry. <laughs> this is the goblins all over again. Yeah. The best thing about this is though, the ooze seems to be wearing goblin armor. <laughs> oh my. Mhm. I get like PTSD. <laughs> there seems to also be dead goblins in the room with the ooze. They look familiar. <laughs> I mean, no. They look shot oh. up to bits. Um, there seems to be random assortment of weaponry lying at the feet. I say feet loosely. The cube shape of the ooze um, that are slowly being dissolved again. And yeah, it just kind of wobbles as you walk in the room and see a fairly trashed cargo bay, lots of um, laser marks everywhere. The ooze seems to have some kind of goblin helmet slowly sinking into the top of it. Yeah. Glad to see you've had a good time. You hear like a bloop and a flashlight just like falls out of it. Okay. <laughs> Probably rolls across like the slanted floor, hits into like the dead body of a goblin. It's missing like an eye socket, and it's just a burn mark. What do we do with the ooze? <laughs> what do you do? I mean, I can't exactly just leave it on the ship with the higgy, but I mean, it's a character, right? It's like. <laughs> well then. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> come back to you. We'll deal with you later. <laughs> well, I mean, what is your plan? Are you gonna? How do we get it to the base? Well, currently you're two men down on this salvage team. I know that's what I'm saying. We'll get back like this better. Like, and get, get to this later. You've already just. And also, you've basically pissed them off massively. Yeah, so obviously they want to complete the job, but then they were like, yeah, we'll cover this up and say it was like an industrial accident if you want to pay us off. And then you went, fuck you. And it walked into the ship, and then you saw Commando Ooze. <laughs> mm. So, uh, yeah. What's the plan? Are you going to attempt to take it with you? Uh, I mean... Or just start shooting it up. Like, just feed it to a bomb. I don't know. Like, I would like, take take it? How the hell would I? That's a question. You tell me. How would Zora deal with it? I mean... (laughs) 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 Why is Nick still here? (laughs) <laughs> the best thing is, well, <laughs> like, unless you want to have your comms run through the versus web, then you won't be able to converse with Nix. You can run your comms through the web, though, but there's no telling who would be paying attention. Oh, it's always a stipulation. It's RP. It's one. RP. Like, <laughs> I'm, like, do you know what? In fact, no, Nico. Do you know it's the anniversary, right? You win. <laughs> Right. (laughs) (laughs) Zora doesn't, but Nico does. Um. (laughs) Uh, Good GM doesn't equal nice GM. (laughs) Just saying. The only thing that we could keep fire was the containment field as gobbed. I mean, no. Let's correct this to use kept it in a containment field. Yeah. yeah. It's not eating the ship yet, right? Right. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it's lived on the ship for a year. Yeah, it's like, that's just home. 
Hmm. How do we save the glute? How do I save the glute? Save the glute, save the world? I don't know. <laughs> or maybe not. Um, um, lure it out with guns. <laughs> Old man guns, or...? <laughs> do I just do that the whole way to, like, the city? <laughs> It's the bed come true. Come, answer. Eh. Uh, it's not a bad idea to get off a ship, but at the same time, like, you know, just keep on the ship. Let him salvage it, you know. I'll hide it. I'll lock the door. I'll lock the door. <laughs> That's worked so well in the past. Hmm. It yeah, will. It will happen. I'll get Nick's ASAP as soon <laughs> as we get back to the city <laughs> with the ship. <laughs> So you're going to lock the assemblies into what the cargo bay? Yeah, yeah, the cargo bay is in. The like, one... just try and make sure that need to get some door. I mean, oh. it's okay. One of the doors is rigged with a bomb, so. I mean, I don't really want that to happen, you know. <laughs> mm. Remember, one bomb went off. That was the one. That was the way in. Yeah. That injured two people. And then uh, you've got the one at the cockpit, and the one at the... Can you gravity out? Use gravity. Just <laughs> move it with gravity. Can you gravity the problem? Is this yeah, something you could do? Gravity on it. Gravity moves shit. There you go. It's, it's too big. <laughs> uh, I would like assume. to believe the bigger things are, the more the gravity. <laughs> so surely it's right. Mm -hmm. I assume that it's too big. Use the good um, gravity, not the bad gravity. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, I guess lock it in the, 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 the room. I'm not going to leave the bomb up though, that's, that's terrible. I end up on the Nordic crew. It's be horrible. So you're going to disable the other bomb? Yeah, yeah, why not? Roll I mean, mechanics? There's nobody around me, is there? I mean, there's dudes. Stand back, people. Uh, please don't die. There's mechanics? It's, it's a tripwire. So the, so, so the ooze just wobbles a bit when you say, you know, please don't die. You can't tell if it's trying to salute or anything, so... But, but like, 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 mechanics, it's like a string attached to a pin. It, like, sizzles, snip, I got the grenades, done. Show me on your character sheet where it says scissors. Uh, yep. Doshko, flame <laughs> Doshko. That's, I, I believe it. that's impounded, yeah. Um, I don't have it. Uh... Claws. Mm -hmm. Ferocious Stuff. teeth. Mm -hmm. Big point that teeth. Aye. Yeah. <laughs> you can buy Claws. that one. Snip. <laughs> yeah, cool. Roll mechanics. Uh, Just means the DC's lower the more things you put in your favour. Where is even mechanics? I don't know. Something Engineering. Like there we go. Engineering? Oh god. No. <laughs> Good old five. Nico! <laughs> We're gonna have to have a talk about how to RP. Uh -huh. Right. So. Just. It's fine. You can't burn. So. <laughs> <laughs> so you blow out the back of the cargo bay. But that's fine. That bomb's now disabled. It's no high explosive! <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just everything's on fire. That's okay. But nobody's on fire. Except you. But it doesn't matter if you're on fire. So there's one bomb left. Yeah, I'll go to the sub bar as well. It's fine. <laughs> Just walk through it, right? I mean, I might as well just kick it in. <laughs> to be fair, it is the cockpit door, so... Yeah, it... maybe take care of that one. Yeah. I mean, I'm gonna fail it anyway, so let, let's just get it undone. Oh my fucking god. That's enough to do it, Nico. So you finally disarm this one. You're probably still technically burning from the other two? Eh, uh, I'll just, like, kind of wipe it off. Mm -hmm. Wait. <laughs> So, all three bombs successfully 
neutralized after a fashion and uh, yeah when you turn around you've got a bunch of the salvage crew just kind of staring like poking like wrenches into the ooze that has followed you uh you made a way oh, wrenches that's it in the ooze seems to be floating a bit of a bent door uh please don't eat my door <laughs> The door slowly kind of like sinks and like slips out the side of it, half kind of like... Well, it's probably a lot shinier than it was before, let's put it that way. We've got a pet ooze. It wobbles. What's happened here? <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm. Ignore the ooze. It's coming with me. <laughs> uh, or yeah. maybe pay your company. <laughs> <laughs> Satisfaction <laughs> star ever. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, so we have a. Uh, God, what, what even would you say? Like, fucking spinning top Zora? Like, can't really. It's not even yo yo. Um, do you want to give me a diplomacy check? Why not? <laughs> okay. Yeah, sure. Do you want to pay them? <laughs> you tell me. You were like, I'll maybe pay you guys now. Uh, a thousand each after I've pulled my day. I mean, I feel like their figure started at 15k. I know, but mine started at 500, so I don't want to double I think where we're at is we're probably about 8k. Um, what? Can I take a number and maybe use it back later? You know, like, I've kind of no go 8k at the moment. Uh, times are hard and I'd look at my ship. <laughs> I mean, keep in mind, you haven't spent the 50k on the base just yet. You could still have funneled that down to 42. <laughs> <laughs> For the base. <laughs> Raided <laughs> by the stewards. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Operation of security, that'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just. Yep. So, uh. uh 42 thousand each no. And <laughs> the base. Uh, so, are we paying the 8k or are we gonna go for the steward path? Oh. <laughs> I mean, you've got them uh, down. It's you've, not to you, Cap. you've got them down a bit. That's, that's decent. Uh, about a thousand, no, you know, like, I'll give you 7k later. <laughs> the problem is it's a thousand each, you're forgetting. It's two thousand, uh, sorry, two thousand, no, and I'll give you 6k later. <laughs> no, because they're not going to like divvy that up amongst the salvage crew. They want the money now for them to be like, we'll all lie and say this was an industrial accident. And then when those guys get out of the third degree burn ward, They'll be like, oh, that's not oh, so bad. I, I made a nice wee bonus there. On top of my hazard pay I got from my work. Oh, poor lads. Get them 40. Just make it 42. <laughs> 8k to cover up burn victims. Okay. Oy. Good. Mm -hmm. I think eventually, guys, you'll have a pop up tent from Argos, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna have to shoot some fucking burn victims. <laughs> <laughs> like was just there, it's a sniper scope through the hospital bed. F boom, done. <laughs> um, <laughs> then also, we see Zig crawl out of the bin in the the room, take the eight k back, crawl back in bin. <laughs> <laughs> next k, sorry, ne next k, yeah, next, next five, k. next k, next k is the new model. Next five walks in a nurse's outfit, picks up bin, walks out whistling. <laughs> I may have plagiarised a lot of this. Um, right. Okay. So Zora. Yeah. To wrap up the salvage mission, they're gonna take the ship back to store it in one of the hangar bays. Okay. And this ooze seems to just slowly follow you around the ship. So before you get back in the uh, hover sled of a uh, awkward conversation, what are you doing with the ooze? 
What's your plan? <laughs> Couldn't really jump in the other side, you know? <laughs> I mean, you could ask it to. Jump is maybe a bad word, but yeah. Um, do you want to kind of like slip your way in here? No, eat anything, possibly. <laughs> yeah, you might need to like, I don't know, like put it on the back of one of the sleds or some shit, given that it is a five foot cube. Does anyone speak ooze? <laughs> Seems Let to be check. cooperating so far. <laughs> I mean, it's yeah. evolving. So, it's almost like maybe no one's ever actually just spoke to it before. I think we did. I'm pretty sure we tried to speak to it. I mean, I'm pretty sure I recall nothing of consequence happening with the ooze <laughs> in a year. Granted, Zig was uh, out of that year for a bit of it, so... Yeah. It's kind of just like... That's a weird phrase. I don't know. Like... Show at the back of one of the sleds, but like... Slip on. Raise ocular ridge. <laughs> Do you, do you like provide a ramp for it or? Yeah, I mean, it's like all like a back door, like a sort of like a yeah tongue. Yeah, it's you know, think of it like tongue. a bit like a hover pickup, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I would just kind of put the, the back door down. Mm -hmm. right? yeah. Kind of like step on it a bit to raise the the boat in the water. Yeah, and then it just you know I think that your terminology was sloop. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Slips itself on. No, remember, kind of need this car to get back, so don't eat. No eat. It wobbles. <laughs> yes. Pet ooze, man. <laughs> it's still got this car. little kind of goblin helmet floating. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I like it. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll get in the car. <laughs> yeah. I'm all in the front, like the passengers. Well. Hi. Right, okay, so Zora gets back. We know what Zora did for the glory of the uh, rebirth. <laughs> <laughs> right. Zig, hopefully oh, that bought dear. you the time you need. What are you doing to help promote this new business and or get supplies for this? What are you doing to help the business, I guess, is what I'm asking. Because everybody's getting one thing to do. Zora got a lot there because Zora's goal was pretty much please help the ship. So, what is Zig's contribution to Operation Carhole? Well, I feel like Zig would be kind of set on, you know, getting like, you know, like the, the, the whole workspace set up with all the tools in the right place and everything up nice and neat and shiny and sparkly and just beauteous. So literally nothing. Is what you're doing. Yeah, literally nothing. Um, I mean, <laughs> you can go out on the street and shout the words out. <laughs> Good. Do you want to Promote do that? little poster boy. Yeah. Little wee billboard. Mm -hmm. Glowing. And just shouting the good news of of, of our one. The car home. Mm -hmm. Let's at not actually call it the car hole as much as I like yeah, that. Yeah. At the car hole, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, what are we rolling? Um, I guess that'll be. Well, I was going to say charisma, but um, we're, we're not playing. Um, mm. yeah, yes, we're not playing. This is no game. This is no game. Um. Right. Why don't you roll? I guess diplomacy, since it's the best skill we've got for the job. Oh god. <laughs> Even though I guess survival is probably equally as apt. Oh, I'll, I'll happily, I'll happily roll survival yeah. over diplomacy. <laughs> yeah, I feel like um, survival is what comes after this roll. So uh, why don't we just okay, roll for it? Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's, uh, let's diplomacy, roll. right. Come on, come on, good roll, good roll, good roll. Diplomacy. Yeah. Right, no. I cool. Hey! What are you doing for the greater glory of the car hole? Um, What's your plan? If, uh, you, I'm can, gonna you can do like one thing to kind of contribute to the effort. keep out of scenes so that uh, they're not alarmed by my presence. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
This is about getting it up and running. Right? Okay. Um, and, and keep in mind, it's very montageable, this. But I pretty much uh, wanted to kind of summarise okay. in one way. What I would like to use is my bounty hunting skills to find someone running unlawful uh, modifications business. You have found them. You are them. Yeah, someone else. <laughs> right, okay. Um, that makes it harder. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> and, you know, get a little bit of money for chucking them in the prison and steal their shit. You're such a dick. Let me just go hunt people that are doing the thing I want to do. Well, not <laughs> yeah. letting the people... Right, okay, so how about you give me... It's an asshole, I know that. Right, give me two rolls, right? A bunny hunter roll and a stealth roll. Or a deception okay. roll, whatever that comes under. Um, so basically, uh, I'm a dick and won't get myself caught roll, and then the how do I catch them roll, right? So, Lyco, give me the catch roll. <laughs> um, catch roll. Uh, so that was bounty hunting. Mm-hmm. I think I pressed it, but it's not come up. We're going to press it again. If it comes up twice, I apologise. It's okay, right? It's right. And then Lyco... Is the no catch, Lyco, roll. Um, stealth probably is my best. Okay. Lyco, good! <laughs> right, okay. Uh, Nix, five. <laughs> Morally great. Mm. Is Alex still with us? I was muted. Okay, welcome back. Yes, you were. You were muted for that Three times. Time. Yeah. Um, yeah. Any interesting highlights on the previous commentary? <laughs> <laughs> um, I have offered nothing. <laughs> um, okay, that's fine. Other than snorts and laughter at the shenanigans. <laughs> Particularly like those plans. It's fine. Sigh. Absolute. Dick that like was as a person, but you love it. It's like, well, I mean, yeah. ch -ch they're a problem. Um, I mean, it crossed my mind too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, I'd rather he did that. Um, <laughs> yeah. Let's so. see. What is Nix is probably going to be rolling engineering, right? Unless you want to go on yes. the PR front. I think we have tested that. <laughs> and it tested poorly with our focus group. Yes. So uh, let's do next five. Fix. Fixy. There we go. Fixy fix. Yeah. Okay. Pretty shit. It's still a roll. It's better than what yeah. Zara's done a lot. So, um. I mean, yes. And let's see what else can manage. I know, Sass, but like, you had loads of money, so. Had, uh, right? Do I have a button here that works? Is there a button for this? I feel like I, w I had a button for this. There we go. Okay, Alice got a nineteen on her engineering as well. Mm -hmm. Alice fix a nineteen. Right. Okay. So. I'd say probably somebody roll a d4. Who hasn't rolled much this session? Um, right, equal. Except Zora. So Zora I think doesn't. Zora's ahead roll. in the rolls. Right. Makes sense to it. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Yeah, roll a d4, Zig. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. So. Let's just round it down to two months, right? Two months, base is set up, base is stocked, ship has been salvaged, ship has been stored, they've tried to patch up like really obvious things like the parts that are trailing behind the ship. Um, you have successfully tracked down an illegitimate salvage operation by dust bandits. Lyco? Hey! Um, you did you hand them in or just killed them? I'm, I'm a not hmm. entirely evil guy. If if I can hand them in, I do that. I always keep cuffs on me for just that reason. Do two understand? sets though, so if there were more than two people, they got the bullet. <laughs> <laughs> well, roll 
Ooh. nice to put a figure on your morality. Roll a d6 plus 2, right? <laughs> okay. Um, let's see if I can remember how to roll a d6. Um. And then I want you just to roll one, one shoot roll for me. One pew pew as well. Okay. One sec. Or one combat roll of your choice. Um. Okay. Ah, oh, you're really bad at rolling individual dice. Loads of ones. Um. Two months. A. Uh, Lyco. Encounter. I thought I wrote two moths for a second there. That's the best use I've come up with. Um, right, what are we doing, Lyco, for combat? Give me, give me one of your finest combats. Cool. Uh, you could have arrested all of them if you wanted to, or you could have killed them all. It's your choice. You're also muted. I am. Yes. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll. You know what? It's <laughs> mute is plus. Shit. Um, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll arrest. Oh, I think that's the right way. Citizens arrest, but sort of semi deputized non citizen. Cool. Fuck it. Roll arrest a, them. Roll a d20. Okay. Uh, do do do. That sounds usually good. <laughs> yep. Um. Right. Zora. Yes. Are you doing anything to help the base, not the disaster that was the salvage mission? <sighs> well, I kind of use his name, so other than you like could. help organizing how stuff about and like whatever, like. Nope, maybe. I don't mean like the menial moving boxes within it. I mean they're literally making the business successful. Uh, what, uh, so you can tell me in what way you think you could help, and we'll see if that makes sense to help promote the business. So Zig literally went out into the street with flyers. Probably digital override flyers, it probably was, you know, where you just swipe over billboards and these things, like, pop up. Yeah. That feels ah. more sci-fi, right? <laughs> ah, I don't know, like, possibly procure us or something, I don't know. It's like okay. to get yeah. supplies so, off of. So like, like parts, right? Yeah, yeah. So legitimate or illegitimate? Um I'll I mean Legitimate, I'd... let's start with legitimate sources first, I suppose, and right, okay. if they're less than well, you give ideal. Me, give me a diplomacy roll. Okay, let's see. Yep. Well let me just there we go. Boom. Nice. Click. Right. I can't even spell. Right, okay. So, two months have passed. Two months have passed. A uh, Lanco made twenty K on bounties and you guys have made let me work this out I can use Kanzora and Nyx and Zig all give me a d20 roll Yar okay. Sigh. Sigh. You'd run. Wow. So upset, man. Those would not be great, right? Uh, so, in total. Uh, right, I need to do a roll for Alice. Also, not great. Right, okay. You have made that in two months. All in. Mm, okay. You just have... That we did a good lads. 
Chocolate. You have supplies. You have customers. Um, you do not have a direct rival. Oh, what's yep. this? <laughs> so overall, you made twenty k on the people you handed in, Lyco. Nice. You got paid that Think for it. Good. That is an all-in fee of who you handed in and maybe what you took from where they were working. <laughs> but regardless, you cool. made 20k of assets. Uh, that is included in the final price that I've put up there, which is overall, in the two months you have spent here, so we're time skipping, two months, you've made 214,000. That is your nice. current pool of money. That's hard to argue with. Yeah, that is based on Alice and Nix doing all their actual repair work, Zora's damn good role at getting a legitimate supplier for parts. Um, <laughs> I'm also just going to roll for said supplier just now, let's see, uh, because obviously Zora went to said supplier. Nope, they haven't a fucking clue who Zora is. Um, <laughs> nope, not a clue. See Zora? It does help when I roll. Um, <laughs> um, it's true. Secret base still secret. Um, yeah, and you've managed to get good a good source of parts. Again, no direct rivals, so business is steady. Zig made sure business at least got to you, so people found all these random fucking ghetto digital posters everywhere. Um, yeah. So you've been on Versus for two months. Uh, do you just want to tell me then what else has happened in two months then while you've lived here? Well, uh, partly because I haven't really done this yet and partly because it just makes sense. Lyco is having... Um, why did I say having? Lyco is sort of going um, incognito and therefore because Barai are pretty rare, he will be disguising himself as alive for the better part of the time. My god. Whoa. <coughs> genius, right? Oh. Nobody would ever have thought to do that. Yeah. <laughs> like <Lyco's stuff>. alive? <laughs> um, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, he may be using uh, the, the Ben Galensis alias, he may not. Good <laughs> um, old Ben Galensis. Other tigers are available. Mm -hmm. um, Other tigers are available, yep. Actually, so while I've been doing espionage, uh, that would obviously apply. So I was thinking, should I roll for that to see how well I've kept up my disguise or something? I think so. I think that makes sense in the two months. Let's see how well this went or how. Because I was rereading disguise and I think it's just I make a charisma check. Oh, right, okay. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. You can disguise to change your appearance for 1d3 plus 10 minutes of work <laughs> with, not for, with. Sorry, I misread that. <laughs> My eyes are fucked. Apologies. Uh, using a disguise kit or casting a relevant spell or ability or using another item, etc. Uh, DM rolls the disguise check in secret, so you're not sure how good your disguise is. Ooh. This check is opposed by the perception check. Anyone who might realize you're not who you appear to be. If you're drawing attention to yourself, other creatures not usually. Uh, so if you're not drawing attention to yourself, other creatures not usually get to attempt perception. So no passiving it mm -hmm. to check to check to pierce your disguise, uh, unless they're alert or suspicious. Like for yeah, like you will look personal. like how you're meant to look unless somebody's got a reason to suspect that you yeah, shouldn't look uh, that way. It's not like some random guy um, goes wait a minute. <laughs> So it's assumed that such observers take 10. So if someone who isn't specifically looking for me, but is paying attention, mm -hmm. like a security guard, they're taking a 10 as a roll against my disguise roll. Um, so effectiveness in disguise depends on how much you're changing appearance. Uh, because, of, because of my racial ability, I don't take the, net, the, the additional difficulty rating for being disguised as a different race. Mm -hmm. Um, so... What am I rolling in secret then? Right. This is a good question. Uh, page 140 uh, 
of the of the core book. So, see the modifier chart. Uh, DC is reduced by five if it's only minor details altered. Uh, it's you add plus two to plus five to the DC for major features altered. Skip to the end part where I know what I'm rolling and we'll find out what happens. Because I'm going to trust you to tell me exactly what I'm rolling and I'll roll it and we'll see what happens. Uh. So it's probably a d20 in there somewhere. GM rolls the disguise check in secret. That's all yep. it really says. So. Um, but it doesn't surely it's rolling, all, but, it's but surely it's Christmas. surely it's your your stats still that I would be rolling, right? Yeah, I'm assuming it's my stats. Uh, <sighs> Why don't you just roll charisma? I think that's easier. I think I'm confused by how this works. Can I quickly look this up? Because I thought I understood it. Now rereading it, I yeah, think I'll, I'll move on to someone else. Right, you work yeah, out cool, how to hide. Cool. Um, <laughs> yes, right. Who else has done something in two months that's noteworthy? Right. You tell me what what you want to have happened in that two months period of time, because these are starting to become like citizens of Versus on with working visas, etc. I've definitely been looking into the best situation. It would have been. I'm fairly sure I would have noticed the Vesk I know. <laughs> oh yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So I would definitely have been looking into that. Um, don't know how... At this moment, anyway, because we're kind of laying low, I don't know how much I would have pressed it. I would maybe have just been like, asking around or whatever. But I wouldn't have like, actually approached any Vesk yet, I don't think. Just, okay. Yeah, like, but I guess that would mean maybe like nothing of note then, really. Because oh. mm -hmm. I, I feel like as soon as like, I approach the vesk, uh, the shit's gone down. So. Yeah, I feel like given that uh, you are like one of the famous vesk, yeah. I'm going to at least get dragged in somewhere, so like, <laughs> I'll probably save that while we're trying to at least play Super Low. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's, that seems reasonable, quite frankly. Fairly reasonable, at least. Um, let's see. I actually need to name another Vesk. Oh my god, that's an awesome name. I'm not using it, but I'm going to paste it in chat. Yes! Well, I'm taking a note of that. That's ridiculous. That's being saved. Right, there we go. So, I think I want that to be the other way around, though, so... Um. Oh, sorry. Nudarand. Gundarand. Nudarand. Nudarand. That was already the first time. Yeah, because like gnome, uh, right? Gnome. Yeah, yeah. Gnudarand. Gnudarand. <laughs> <laughs> right, so. Uh, I think, yeah, we'll deal with your stuff last, I think, then, Nico, because I think Zora's stuff probably is the. what's potentially likely to tie in with Lyco's stuff, his ultimate, like. Surveillance goal, right? Yeah. You and him are probably going to work together on that shit. Um, you know, Lyco feeds you information, you use your vest brain to process information, you make a team decision, you move forward to do the second part. Um, Nix, Five, and Zig, how does your two yes. month period go? Uh, obviously, I would like to spend some time actually looking at power armor. Yeah. This pre game yeah. set it up and everything. I mean, in two months, that's the money you have cleared, so your operational costs have been taken off that. So, mm. that is mm -hmm. just, it's up to you how you are spending that. Is there a, let's buy a ship fund? Uh, is there a, let's repair the ship fund? Is there a, everybody gets a wage now? Um, hey, they always got a wage when we got paid, right? <laughs> like. <laughs> Very kind of you, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, you could start up a charity for the Save the Burn Victims. Um, yeah. 
So, how how is the money being divided then? Right, that's maybe a better. I mean, like, I guess it should be waged. It should be done the same way as always. I'll just always put so, a chunk of it away for the ship. I guess, like, as a ship side. Fund, so here's I the guess. thing, though, right? You've got like a business side fund now as well, probably. <laughs> Yeah, and as I said, the assets, it wasn't just a 20k bounty that um, Lyco got, he got 20k worth of the reward from that mission. Um, hence, like a natural 20 was nice. Um, it's always good. The reason for that is, they wouldn't be worth that much, but at the same time, the stuff you could have claimed that you could then repurpose would have been worth that. Um, mm. Obviously, like, Right, so Captain, I'll call this in in ten minutes so you can get the Harvard truck out here now. Um, which is good. Um, do you just want to pick an expansion bay for the hover truck as well? That isn't just cargo? Yeah. We want to have a look at that. Remember the expansion bay stuff's on like page 200 and something of the, the core book at some point. Um, might even get it in the, the compendium, who knows. Um, but yeah, what was Zig? What did Zig do in two months? Because we know that uh, next five probably wants to work with power armor. So yeah, um, I think I think a lot a, a lot of it is um, kind of mixed. He's he's definitely still sort of kind of thinking a lot about you know melting people. Well, at what point yeah, do you bring that up? Because keep in mind you've got two months worth of RP yeah, time to play. I, I feel I feel like he would probably, depending on who was available at the time, either talk to the captain or Lyco. Um and then on the other side of that I think he's trying to make himself seem as useful to Nix Five as possible. The worst thing as um, well, right? So if you're still awkward about the whole Nix Alice situation, they're pretty much literally the money making process of this that isn't Lyco yeah. killing people, so well, wow. yeah, so um, rest. <laughs> I feel like in like a work sense, he's he's like he's constantly trying to help out Nix in like the work sense to the point where he's probably getting in the way. Well, considering that what you did, right? So you went right, cool. How can I help you? And then Nix made you a data pad program that lets you override billboards with the, uh -huh. the posters, which meant you had to leave them alone. So, take from that what you will. Yeah. <laughs> How can I help? Go away and cover all the billboards with this program. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like he would, like, even, like, after going out and stuff, he would constantly be coming back and being like, right, okay, well, what, what can I do? Can I get you a thing? And, like, grabbing him, like, tools and stuff and, like, trying to hand him tools that he definitely probably doesn't not doesn't need. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so you really have your choice, right? Like at any point, you could speak to any of them. So you've got two months to kill, and you also have Zora getting all the supplies, uh, like sorted, and then you've got Lyco doing his intel shenanigans and essentially like shopping in the competition. Um, Nix and Alex, uh, sorry, Alice even not Alex. Nix is Alex. Yes. Um, yep. Team team repair bots um, are pretty much just working constantly uh, on any jobs that come in. Mm -hmm. um, I'm I think, assuming I Lyco is going to handle the business arrangements face to face with his living I think, disguise. I, I think there's there would certainly be a use to that. Yeah. You do not want it to be the androids. That's all I'm going to say. Um, well, I'm highly effective. <laughs> I will That's take your business. You want to be inscrutable. <laughs> I want to take your business for your currency, please. <laughs> <laughs> now give us your equipment. Trust us but to I've fix it. I've got the money. Why do I care how their day has been? <laughs> oh, I know. I know. So, I know. Um, I'm still trying to work this out. A quick Google has turned up nothing. I still say you just roll, you just roll how you want to hide yourself, and we'll work it from there. Mm -hmm. I don't see the point in me hiding it, considering you will know after two months if you were successful. 
Yeah, I think maybe they mean that you roll like opposing me in secret or something like that. Because the only because it sounds otherwise like I have nothing to roll. In which case, why am I rolling against the difficulty if I don't have a? No, I think what's um, meant to be is you disguise with your ability, but I roll it so that I know yeah. how well this disguise okay. is. Okay, so I okay, so if you roll with my modifiers, basically for charisma. Uh, and I'll tell you what the modifiers should be, and I suppose you can determine which ones you think apply. So, obviously, I don't get the disguise as a different race if I'm a, a disguising as a human, which I am. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not a different creature type sort of thing. That doesn't apply either. Not a different size category. Uh, so I suppose it's up to you how much of an adjustment it, mean, it means. I either get minus 5 to the DC, and I think the default DC is... Sort of up to you, I and think. No, because what yeah. happens is, right, you tell me what the modifiers to the d20 are, right? How good are you at hiding that add the plus, or is it a negative, right? That, your stats adjust that. So if you're good at hiding, it's a positive. If you're bad at hiding, yeah. it's a negative. Add that to a d20. I roll that, and that is the DC other people roll against to notice you. Because we're generating the DC. Because you're disguising right. yourself. So here's the thing, because it's free. It's free is like the easiest one is a minus, and the hardest ones are plus. So this modifier wouldn't be to my roll. It would be what I'm rolling against. No, your stats are the roll, right? Yeah. So listen to the words I'm saying. Ignore the thing you're reading. How good you are at hiding is the stats you'll have on your sheet. You will yeah. tell me what those are. I will add them to the d20 roll. I will roll the d20 roll. That becomes the DC for other people to be like, wait, that guy's dead. My uh, my total in disguise is twelve. I think is that including inspiration? If we determine if that includes inspiration, can I roll an unrelated skill just to see if mm -hmm. inspiration is included? Yeah. Uh, right, I'm going to roll medicine. Fuck me. Um, medicine is showing as plus one rather than plus four, so. Uh, I think I get 15 in disguise? Or call it 12 if you don't think the inspiration applies. Um. Right, let me do a roll in secret then. That is the wrong chat. Okay, I have a number. Oh. Uh, now I guess I just make, I don't know, so two months. High public is likely going to be probably not that difficult given that you're going to be in the public face. Two months of work, several jobs, good paying jobs, blah blah blah. Let's see, it is... How many D20s? Let me think. Mm. Let's go with the uh, 3D20. Cool. Uh, right, the way this plays out, you get a contract, obviously, that you have procured through a lack of other means in the market. Okay. It is a person, it's one person you have been dealing with that has paid you this much money. You've had one contractor. Mm -hmm. And they like the fact that they don't know anything about you guys. They actually, Plausible deniability. Basically, they like the fact that they know nothing about you, and thus there's no trail, there's no history, there's yeah. no nothing. They literally can, as you say, just walk away. They could, in theory, they could just burn you down and walk away. And only Zora would be left. So, the... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Zora Badonde. And then they have at the end of that particular, say, period of work, let's say there was a lot of different vehicles coming in and out and various states of repair. Some of it looks less legitimate than others, but that doesn't seem to have bothered you, obviously. Um, the very fact that you've managed to source amazing parts because the the supplier is on point. It is, in fact, you know, almost straight from the factory um, supplies that you've got. The uh, 
contractor. Let me get them in. Let me get a name for them, right? Give me a wee second. Uh, we'll see if we can get a good name for them because, right? Fantasy names. Let's go for. God, these are all terrible names. But we're gonna go with this because it's brilliant. Um, <laughs> my God. Okay, so we have. Are you waiting for the person that hired you guys? Drasdal Shatterbrand. Okay. okay. Shatterbrand. <laughs> That's yep. Amazing. It was that, or it was um, Mucked Treasure Gut was the other option that I'm not going to go with. That's um, going to be the next pirate I ever make in anything. Treasure Gut. You just keep swallowing slowly your, your money. I, uh, I can, I, it's it's uh, very much like a ogre name in Warhammer sort mm. of thing. Um, right, okay, so let's add this into the chat. because They earn their names and they're usually descriptive. Eh... Uh, also, just as you know, like this is here somewhere. Uh, we'll deal with that in a second. So let me put this fucking name in the chat. So contract contractor Dresdale Shatterbrand. It is a dwarf. Of course, <laughs> with Dresdale, yeah. Dresdale. Um. They seem yeah. shady as fuck, but they have money, and mm. use wanted money. Um, there is a conversation at the end of that period when it's the conclusion of the contract, aka the when they push the button that sends the funds to you. Yeah. And the conversation ends pretty much with "You're okay for a dead guy." Um. Ooh, how does Lyco play that? Yeah, because I'll tell you something. The <laughs> Your disguise roll, right, was 29. Uh, Their roll was 29, but that was the total of the 3d20. So, to me, that would say that they didn't work it out till the end. Um, okay. Uh, How they worked it out, you're not sure. But, they don't necessarily seem particularly fussed about it. Because luckily there's a how do NPCs react to bullshit chart from other systems. <laughs> and this, <laughs> nice. guy, this guy essentially got the equivalent of nonchalant. Um, so, yeah. Okay, business like dwarf, that makes sense. Right? Um. You did good, <laughs> thing is though, you did good work in two months. You did it well. Thank you to, I think... like, uh, sorry, what you call it, the supply like didn't get delayed in any way, so Zora made sure parts were available, and Nix Five and Alice put those parts to good use. Zig made sure people were aware there was a business here. Do you know what I mean? And then you made sure nobody had an alternative option. So you did a lot better at this than Zora did at that salvage mission. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't have been hard, man. Mm -hmm. I would. Uh, I, th I think like was gonna. You know, I think for a second you see a. Just like a, 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 a moment's hesitation, of like, oh, you made me. Because obviously the fact that he hadn't done it initially, mm -hmm. you sort of get that sense that like... Well, do you want to roll insight kind of or like sense motive? Those. Roll sense motive, yeah. right? And what we'll do is we'll see if you can work out how long he knew that for, right? Because I know I told you as Colin. Oh, shh! <laughs> um, <laughs> I did, I'd take either one. I, I, my mouse is double clicking something. Okay, no, that's fine. You can. Um, you have realised that something more recently has given it away. You can decide what that is because I don't really care because you got that twenty there, so that's fine. Um, yeah, I think like for a for a, a, a brief flash, just for that sort of half moment, like there may be a slight like glint of worry. Mm -hmm. On the, I, I like his face, but it immediately sort of uh, retains composure and, um, you know, smiles with a degree of sincerity. Um, and I think I think he'd uh, he'd try and play it very cool after that because you know he he is used to he's he's pretty talented at this sort of thing as you can see by like the sort of bonuses he gets. 
So maybe he isn't necessarily used to being made. Um, especially when he's only sort of... Uh, he only has to make, like, I mean, disguise his eyes and his skin colour, really, and then he, mm -hmm. he pretty much looks alive. Um, especially anyone who isn't looking too hard. So, yeah, I think there's a bit of surprise. Uh, but, obviously, he's realising Shatterbrand is maybe a bit more pragmatic and isn't bothered by that sort of thing. And he's also... Lyco uh, is, is a fairly quick thinker, and I think he'd put two and two together and realise, well... He's obviously not that concerned. He may have made you, but you know, you 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 got through the deal. He didn't back out. He didn't try and you know, he didn't react in any skeevy way. Uh, so I think you, I think, I think that sort of instantaneous oh would very quickly be over, and mm -hmm. and he would uh, he'd play it sort of cool. And uh, I don't know, dwarfs shake hands. <laughs> yeah, um, like he's a, as I said, he's very. Um, this was acceptable work. There could be more work yeah. in the future. Uh, obviously, I don't know who you are. You don't know who I am. You're okay for a dead guy. Uh, good day. We'll never see each other again until I need you. Yeah, I think I think I think just hold out a, a, a hand, give a sort of if he responds like a quick, firm shake and yeah. a nod, um, and maybe a you know a, a, a you know pleasure pleasure doing business with you sort of thing. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, I haven't done the, I haven't done the voice in like a month. <laughs> That's why I'm struggling. <laughs> yeah, I haven't got into character. There oh. you go. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think I think that's pretty good. I think it's pretty clean. He's quite happy with his work there, and um, I like to think while he's sort of been working undercover, he's keeping an eye out for any connections to to the uh, overarching plot. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. No, we'll we'll cover that in a bit more detail. Don't worry. We'll definitely get to the uh, overarching plot. Now, given that, okay, so we've had like Lyco's interesting business shenanigans. Um, keep in mind, it's not to say that other people are going to be able to see through that disguise either. So, it just seems that this guy had spent enough time with you that it's obviously yeah. been like little bits here and there that he's went. Wait a minute, um, you know, maybe when you were slowly taking a moment to blink, he was putting mirrors up to your nose and such. But like, wait a minute. Um, as for Zig yes who did you Zig. wait to speak to first did you wait for the captain did um, you wait for Lyco did no, you wait I, for I think I think the topic of the, the issue I think he'd wait for Lyco because he knows Lyco's kind of you know he's killed people um, <laughs> so I want to just no, like, like, kid, like, let's but, just put no. all this in a box just now, right? I'm going to draw your attention, Zig, right? This is why you're... And I'm just going to call your shit out now, right? Confront Captain about rule in crew and Yay. come to terms with melting boys. So I'm going to just ask that question, just completely unrelated to what I just said. Who do you want to speak to in the two months period? I, I would like to speak to the captain in the two months period, but you know, I'd also like to speak to Lyco about the the killing people thing because cool. I feel like he like, would speak to Lyco first about being iffy about killing people. Cool. Uh, how far into the two months period do you wait? Probably not particularly long. Um, for the for the melting boys issue. Purely because it it would be he'd be sitting there and be eating at him for the majority of each day, okay. um, so he'd he'd initially I think he'd wait like you know like a couple weeks, um, and then you know if nobody kind of came up to him and said right what's what's the deal, he would um he would go try and speak to like Owen. The problem is everybody probably gets lost in their work, right? Yeah, um, exactly. Yeah, um, but I think because he's because he's so used to people just like you know going, oh, what's up, Chuck? Um, I think he'd he'd, he'd wait that couple weeks and then like go out of his way to kind of wait for, um, Michael to. I think his initial um his initial plan would have been to speak to Nix, but he's still really iffy about Nix. Um, mm -hmm. so yeah. Okay. 
So that's his thought process. Do yeah. you go approach Lyco then? Lyco, where yes. does Zig find you? I don't know. We still have a Lyco. Sorry, I am. I was mute. Uh, I was mute, and now I see. <laughs> um, <laughs> As before. <laughs> oh, with new eyes. I, mm. I will. Um, I will probably be doing a lot of hanging out in my, uh, you know, boardroom. <laughs> I swear. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, so. I guess is oh! you can head there if you want to. Classic cinematography, right? What is the uh, what is the Versine uh, equivalent of Chinese takeaway? Uh, probably um, show bad to go. Yeah, so there's probably quite a few show bad to go cartons <laughs> sort of sitting <laughs> out among the many data clippings. I mean, I actually kind of hate that I've said those words. Show bad to go. To go. Right? It works. Uh, <laughs> it works. It's awful, but Take it works. Away. Yep. That. Yep. We, uh, it, it's a thing now. Show bad to go is now canon. Mm -hmm. Um, that's nice. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Sorry, Akaton. Um, carry on. This is cultural appropriation. <laughs> <laughs> Do they use chopsticks or is that too The much? thing is, is it a delicacy that the showbad are making or is it showbad? Nobody knows. Or asks. So Or is it a delicacy that the showbad are eager to get rid of? <laughs> I think that's it's just like dead is so okay they find. Um, anyway, carry on. No. Right, so there's loads of showbad to go. Cartons lying everywhere. And uh, Zig, I guess you walk into the conspiracy den. Yeah, I, I, would, I would chap on the door if I'm assuming it's closed. <laughs> I love the idea that it's not a door and it's just a bunch of beads. Like, I know it wouldn't be, chap but I just love that it would be a fucking bead door. <laughs> 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 right, okay. So, there's a knock on your door. That's for you, Lyco. I'll, uh... Look up from my current uh, whatever I'm working on, um, and uh, and yeah, just acknowledge if I can, you know, come in. I think we'd kind of hesitantly enter his <coughs> sort of little little den there, um, to be like, hi. Uh, hey kid, what's the What's up? You've... You... You kill people. <laughs> I love the way it, if, it, if it was a TV show, would have that montage of every single time Lyco pulled a trigger and someone died. Only, like, it's within, like... That, in your entire lifespan? Okay, yeah, fair. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a few... Um, I, I think like Reese I will consider it for a second, um, and uh, and says, uh, um, f f yeah, oh okay, occupational hazard, smiles slightly, um, sort of stands up straight, like no longer kind of leaning over what he was looking at, mm -hmm. now making it clear he's paying attention to the egg, like um, you're uh. The uh, the incident with the bandits still troubling you, kid. Um, Zig's eyes would kind of you'd be kind of actively avoiding eye contact. Um, and kind of like you know, kind of holding one of his wrists in one hand, um, and just looking, going. <laughs> how, detached. How 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 do you how do you know? When you're supposed to kill someone, was I, was I supposed to was I supposed to kill them or <laughs> or did I just did I just see do that? Well, you did know, didn't you? Like it's it's I get I get what you're asking, but when the moment came and there was an obvious threat, you, you knew to act. I mean, it's it's. Was it obvious, though? 
What do you think those guys really, do, they were just, right? They, like, they were just there. They were there because they were raiders and bandits, and th this planet has a, a problem with them outside the central belt, and even in the less civilized parts of it. It's, it's... I'm not saying every time you see someone who looks like a criminal you should just melt their skin or whatever, but I'm saying you have to... You have to be willing to to take action when your when your gut instinct says fight. You're gonna have to, but look, the stewards are there to keep peace. They're there to ensure the pact. But you know, a lot of that, a lot of the time. Preventing the pact from breaking means opening fire on people. It means getting up close and personal and, and getting your hands dirty. And it's not clean or pleasant most of the time. But, you know, do it because if we don't do it, the people that we end up... You know, it's not always kill or be killed, but sometimes... Okay, so you go, well, I'll let this guy, I'll let this guy off, I'll, I'll, I'll back off, I'll, I'll, what? and it just means trouble for someone else down the road. I'm not saying, like, we should always, you know, hunt down our every enemy. I, I don't do that. I don't think, I don't think Cap has that inclination either, and, and he's, you know, he grew up in the Viscarium, right? He might live among us now, but their culture is one of dominance and sort of perverse sense of honor based on physical might. But, you know, he doesn't just rampage around looking for vengeance in those who wronged him because he just knows. He, I'm not saying we always make the right call, but, well, I think... I think a lot of the time you you do when when it <laughs> uh, it's tough to explain, kid. It's it's it's. I'll say this: it's not the worst thing that it troubles you. I'm, I'm just, I'm just so scared of what I what I what I do what what I could do. What, 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 what I will do. You're powerful. I mean, I don't know exactly how it all works, but you're clearly wielding some sort of, I guess, solar power, and that's scary because suns are notoriously uh, pretty nasty things. You don't really want to come up close to a person with the sun as a rule because not much can withstand it, right? I mean... Look at the planet you're on, right? <laughs> yeah, mm. yeah, good illustration. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you've you've got access to power, or you have power yourself. I don't I don't know exactly how it works, but yeah, you're capable of really terrifying things. But uh, look at you. I mean, you're troubled by it, right? You're you're not. <laughs> you didn't just do whatever you did to those you know, and it's in, and just sort of never thought about it again. I, uh, I think that's commendable, and uh, I don't know about you know, the morality of it. I, I, I just think there are, you know, there are times where that's not really the question. That doesn't matter. You, you just gotta do it. And you seem to have an instinct that kicks in at the right times, but you don't seem like someone who... <laughs> what I'm saying is that you seem like the last person who's going to start just using their powers for no reason or, or, or harming people irresponsibly, because even when you do do it to people who are a threat or seem to be a threat, you clearly are torn up about it. I mean... I gave myself and I gave the captain as examples, but let me be quite honest with you. Do you think Nix would feel a shred of guilt 
if he had to put a bullet through someone? You've seen him with that plasma thing. I think, I think Zig would kind of mentally be a bit conflicted on... on... We also got like a cut to like Alice and Nix5 and like the cargo bay of this place, like actually using it as a welding device at the, that point in time as well. <laughs> yeah. Emlyn was just as capable. Um, the line of work we're in, we don't get the luxury of avoiding danger, so yeah, that means you're probably gonna you're probably gonna use your powers and a few more people. Do you think you can do it? I, I don't know. I, I just, I, I, I just don't know. Well. Okay, let me, let me, let me put it this way. What, what was your Radiant Supreme have done, right? If he found himself in a position where he could protect himself, his his, his friends and, and allies by harming others with his power. I'm I'm just unsure. If I was the Radiant Supreme I would do anything to protect my friends and Well you are but who you I'm are not. now. You have power, maybe not as much power as some others do. I mean, I know there are people and beings in, in the world that can do unbelievable things, but you can do some pretty unbelievable things. You have power, and, and you've used it, from what I can see, mostly well. You've made mistakes, but look, I, I'm not... I'm not trying to belittle you when I say you're young. I know your species grows quicker than mine, but the fact is, you can only fit so much life in so many years, and I'm older than I look because I stopped aging and started going sort of white. Um, th that... Once you you know once once you have a few more years behind you, you might have a different perspective. But look, you you make mistakes and you've got more to come. But look at the mistakes you did make. You, you, yeah, the thing with Alice. C could you have known? Did you understand? Now maybe you through that when you don't understand. But you have to look at it from the perspective of people on the outside. I don't think any of us were half as torn up about it as you were. I don't know, I haven't really picked Alice's brain about that, but all I'm saying is that, uh, you know, you've, you, you've already got things wrong, and look, the world didn't end, did it? Hmm. I think... Maybe I'm not the right guy to ask about this sort of stuff. Uh, I'll be honest with you, even when I was a bright-eyed idealist, actually, especially when I was a bright-eyed idealist, I, I could pull the trigger without a second thought. Still can. It's kept me... Uh, active? Going? It's kept me something. I think Zig would look up and just be like, and that's why... I, I came to you, and he'd kind of extend his hand, and just say thank you. Oh, uh, thanks. Uh, yeah, uh, you're you're welcome, kid. Um, does Lyco take his hand, though, given the? Uh... Yeah, no, he do he does. Slight, it's slight, slight trepidation. Just I'm. I'm Flash <laughs> cut to a <laughs> both the uh, next five and Alice collapsing. I am. Um... No, yeah, no, I'm just going to shake his hand. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Irradiate! I was, like, I was like, I'm going to mind link, I'm going to do it. And I was like, no, I'm not. Mm. Um, I think, I actually think um, that that thought crosses his mind of like mind linking just like all <laughs> his emotion onto him and then taking that like second and not 
Because mm-hmm. I guess that's what was the good naturally have done anyway, right? Yeah. In the past, um, because because he does, he, he like it was his automatic response to just like ah, uh, I don't know how to do. There you go. I um, want to do something slightly funny. Uh, I I don't right. I don't know. I want to go over this just slightly before I do it. Um, is it within the same I, scene or is it in a yeah like, yeah within okay, the same yeah? scene? Okay, let's go uh, for it. Let's I have go. some perfect voice, right? Right. That's one of the things I got. I can issue commands and potentially get people to do things against their will by right. speaking vampirically. <laughs> right, yeah. Now, I'm not going to do that, but what I thought I might do is, you know how people can sort of sense and choose to resist, like I have chose to resist in the past psychic intrusion or let it in? Mm-hmm. Would Zig sense that that was a sort of minor psychic intrusion? It's probably unlikely, right? Right. Okay, so lot, I won't do that. A lot of the reactions are automatic that people do. You had special circumstances to your reactions. Okay. okay. So I, I was just thinking, like, if I could do that, I could maybe illustrate to them that, you know, there are other people with abilities, and you know, maybe it's possible... In a, in a way that, like, I wouldn't necessarily see, but maybe it would be more comfortable sort of doing, for, you know, you're showing, look, you're not the only one who can do unnatural or unusual things. I mean, you could literally just extend a blade out of your arm. I could, but that's a bit too creepy, right? <laughs> in, in the dark with this blue LED lighting behind you and just these blades extending and then your voice going all kind of Gandalf, you know, angry Gandalf. <laughs> I'm like... Do not speak to me of rings, Frodo Baggins. You know, like, yeah, it's, um, <laughs> yeah, I understand. Um, my question is, does Zig go quietly unto the night, or does it go seeking out anyone else? Um, I think, I think he'd, for, for that, like, a day would definitely just, just leave, and I think he's holding back tears at that point. Mm-hmm. And he would he would just leave and kind of hide in a little hidey hole okay, okay. for a bit. Uh, right, yeah. So maybe let like, you head back to like your room or something, and you kind of like keep to yourself for a bit. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nix five. Yes. Uh, are you going to spend some money, cash, cash monies on some cash sweet, sweet power armor? Yes. Right. Depending have, on what is available. Yeah, I was going to say like Zora. How much does he have to spend on this power armor? You're muted. Well, that, that's the wrong direction. Uh, mm. At the very least. Um, I like the idea. Spending. That's the wrong direction. Earning. Earn more. <laughs> at the least, they split that ah, money like, five ways. I like, mean, so he's at least got like 30, 40 grand to split, play with. Like, I'm assuming you're including Alice, obviously, in this split. Oh, well, of course. Actually, uh, that was mm-hmm. just a ship. Six way split. Mm-hmm. Then. Six so way split. So, so you're, like, you're not like, paying the so. use, no? Um, I'll play that with like spare parts, right? Like they'll like, fucking love it. Occasionally, <laughs> occasionally like, buy it like a really nice exhaust that's brand new and throw it in. <laughs> I'm sure you like that, I'd like. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So six ways, six ways. Right, okay, so we've got what two hundred and fourteen k six ways. I mean, even if we take thirty k each, that leaves sixty four k for a ship. Yeah. Oh, well, I, 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 that was including the ship, where the ship is like the sixth person. Yeah, that's what I'm saying though, is if, I don't know if we want to put the ship equal, is the thing. That's true, that's true. If if the five of us take take 30k, that leaves 64k for a ship. After I get like a, maybe I'm going in, I I, 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 I just say, I'm not like, oh, the rest of my money's gone in the ship as well. Like, might as well consider my money, literally the ship money as well. Mm -hmm. I'll probably be spending about 10,000 a mine and input into the ship fund. Right, so does anyone want to type this up in the chat very briefly so we know what we're working with? So there is uh, what that to work with for the moment. So we do 30k each. And then 64k for ship. Mm-hmm. And obviously that's kind of negotiable back and forth as Zora says. Well, as mm-hmm. Nico says. Mm-hmm. Um, How much is your power armor? So it depends which one I have accessible. Um, oh, let let's have that conversation now. <laughs> yeah, give me numbers. The one I was looking at, 
Whereas the spellcaster's Aegis. Right. Which well, is a level 8 suit at 10k. Right, okay. Yeah, I don't see an issue with you sourcing that, but the problem is there is one slight issue. You need yeah. to buy two. Why is that? Because is Alice wants one. Uh, what, well, Alice has her money? She does. But you need Which to go buy it for her. We can cut a deal. Buy one, get one free. Or Why don't you roll diplomacy? Yes. Uh, can I buy it online? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can, but you'll be no discount if you buy it online. Yeah, but if I can use my computer <laughs> to make diplomacy checks for me. So do you want to hack the no, like, 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 like because my my computer has an AI in it, which can make diplomacy checks for you. Well, if you want to hold up your data pad in the shop, hand that to them, and let your computer speak through "I am Sam," then yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's better than my diplomacy. Right. Okay. So there's going to be a minus two penalty to being weird as fuck. Let me right? see. Okay. Let me just check. That's just that. a standard Android one. <laughs> oh, this is on, this is on top of anything that's ongoing. Regardless, this is just a that's a weird thing to do. As these two androids walk in, hand over a data pad that goes, "Hello, we would like to purchase two of your power armor." Let me just check. <laughs> what? I mean, level my right. AI. You, is you, cool. you work oh, that yeah. out, right? And you let me know when you're ready to play that scene yep. out. Excuse Zora, me. two weeks. <laughs> yes. What have, sorry, two months. Sorry, I'm getting myself confused. Two months. What has Zara do, done in two months besides arranged the very legitimate factory supplier for the parts? Anything at all? You are muted. I literally switched it the wrong way again. Yep. I, I, I muted myself to speak. Mm. Uh, I, I feel like I don't really know much what much else would have done other than being really curious about the Vesk that are about, but no one shouldn't really. As I said, the Vesk thing, much. don't worry about that, I'll get to that. Right? Um, we have checkpointed the Vesk thing. Because I know so that's that, like, it would definitely it would use the funds to go like get some equipment or whatever, like polished up himself a wee bit. Basically um, shot him trap. You could go bribe those guys to just give you your stuff back if you wanted. Uh, I want your stuff anyway. Um, to be honest, like... in that case, then yeah, you could obviously have bought things that are level appropriate, etc. Mm -hmm. um, That's fine by me. Um, um, yeah. And the other yeah. said, like, other than being like really curious about this, like, I don't really feel like there's much else he would have done. Concentrate on the business, getting as much money in as possible. What did so you, idea, what did you do with the US? Really um, what to give it like a, 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 a um, <laughs> like the most, it'll be at the base somewhere. I'm just trying to find out where it puts in the base it would be. Or you can see it in the base. Well, we'll just we'll just keep it there. Like, is 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 it being a good being a good news at least? You know, like. I mean, what did you say to the news? Oh, uh, I'll just say like. I don't know what to say here, honestly. <laughs> so, this is the base. Like, <laughs> for now, I'll, like, chuck you some goodies. Uh, you do you, is <laughs> like. It wobbles. Please don't eat the base. It wobbles again. Um, yeah, I'll treat you. Uh, obviously, I would like get a, like I said, a nice polished exhaust every now and then, uh, you know, keep it happy. Sounds like such a fucking euphemism, but yeah, okay, yep, perfect. The Good. Pet rules, man. Mm -hmm. um, just the general pet things, like yeah. For the first couple of days, it follows you around the base. Oh, fantastic! I, mean, I like that. <laughs> but like to the point where you open your room door and it's just waiting outside the room. Um, that's cool. I mean. Probably slept like two feet apart for like other vest things all the time, but like, it's fine. Probably wasn't much in the way of privacy of one of the scarring. Occasionally, you just hear like the 
dissolving Oof. of the door. Like a cat scratching at the door. Why does it, why does it, why does it feel love me? Like... <laughs> I mean, maybe it's because you came back for it? Alright, this is... That's okay, that's cute. To be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted Genuinely a pet. Endeared. I'm, I'm endeared to this ooze now. <laughs> like, the only thing you need to buy it now is like some kind of hover sled, kind of cool skateboard thing, so it can move faster. I mean, I can get it behind a lizard, getting like really like having like an ooze pet. To be honest with you, mm -hmm. like well, it was just going to like ooze all over like <laughs> One is a genius, the other's confused. <laughs> yeah, that works. Yep. I'm a bit like experiment with every now and then, you know, like try and figure out like how it actually makes stuff. Mm -hmm. Ask it, like you know, like maybe like a, a pistol. Right, okay, <laughs> so what do you do? Right, so let's let's discuss this, right? You you sit with it, you ask it to make a pistol, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Alright. Um uh, wait, just, How do you what? Can you make me a pistol? It wobbles. Like, like, chuck it some material, you know, because right. I kind of get that part, I'm assuming I get that part, like. <laughs> okay, roll a d8. Okay. Alright, let's see. And you get a clip for a pistol, full of ammo. Hmm. I'd love to get in there at least, right? Like, <laughs> yep. So you do understand me then? It like, I guess they were just, they were just amazing. I'd like kind of call up Nick's at this point, actually. <laughs> this is fascinating. This is something he would love to see. Well, like, why you call him? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I would give a lot of me, a wee, a wee tinko. Bleep. Captain. Nick's. Hi, Captain. He's to come. You just hear Alice from the background. Hi, Alice. Uh, you need to come to the ooze. How are you, Captain? Uh, very good, Alice. And yourself? Having fun? I'm, I'm good, too. Good. <laughs> or a good one. I'm not sure. So, Captain, the ooze. So the um... Who's a bit smarter than before? Do you use wobbles next to you? Yeah, it seems to kind of understand this perfectly fine. Uh, seems so you're to like me as well. <laughs> that doesn't sound fine. Ah, uh, <laughs> it's not eating me yet. I take it you're still keeping it away from all the expensive equipment. It's... Has it really done anything out of turn? Ever? Since I asked it not to? I'll yeah, maybe to choose some parts of it that have offered it. <laughs> uh, where are you keeping the ears right now? Is that like the living space? <laughs> yes. I'd, <laughs> I'd wander through and have a look at it. Well, she would like people would have seen it then. I mean, it's not exactly hidden. It is like God, where even is this the safe house plan? Here we go. So you can clearly see the use. Also, I love the fact that its picture is probably the most disconcerting. Yeah. <laughs> it's upsetting. Uh, it's all of our futures. <laughs> Who's all of our features? <laughs> all of our features sounds like an NPC I would make. <laughs> <laughs> or an indie band. Mm. So yeah. Next you go investigate the ooze. The ooze kind of wobbles when you walk in. No eating my hand, right? It wobbles. Slowly Do consumes you the pistol ammo thing again, like the clip. It just slowly pulls that back in. You just actually hear that kind of like horrible like fizzing sound again. Do you understand us? 
you hear fizzing. Can you wobble once for yes? Twice for no? It wobbles. Okay. Do you understand us? Uh, you just hear fizzing. <laughs> you understand us. It wobbles. I don't think he likes you. Fizzing. Okay, maybe it does. Uh, it doesn't say it does, not it? <laughs> can, I, can I Google whether ooze have language? Do you want to try and, like, actually research this thing? Yeah. Right, okay. A novel concept. No. <laughs> like 30 sessions in. <laughs> 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 let's, let's actually research this in this file. <laughs> what does conspiracy Craig say about the Ood? Yeah, it's <laughs> quite... I'd say ultimately it's going to be what, like, computers you're going to be looking at for this. And yeah. it's going to have to be... It's going to be difficult because you probably want to try and get into, like, whatever you have left from Baskerville. Yep. Right? Our, like, Aspis. So... Yeah. Why well, you give me a computer roll and we'll work out how, how jank that is, because it's going to be difficult. Can I ask for Alice's help? Of course you can. As she will have some understanding of the architecture. Data. Um, how does that question go? <laughs> Alice. Oh, hello. Uh, Sorry, my comm is muted. Don't worry, that happens. Um, can you help us access the data banks of Aspis or Baskerville Station? She walks in and she goes, Oh my god, this guy! And points at the ooze. You know him? No. Can you help us... Find some information about him, please. Okay. What do you want to know? Well, we want to see what information basket on him. Okay. When do we leave? We would like to access it remotely. Okay. I don't think we can do that. Well, why not? Well, I'd... and she says she like, like screws up her face a little bit, and she like, remember when I was the station? She like makes yes. like a circular motion with both of her hands. Well, and she like is if she's sitting that to the side. I'm now me. She kind of gestures to herself. Yes. And that's over there. And motions back to where she placed this mind circle. Yes, but it's part of Aspis's activities. No. And if you want me to try and hack Aspis, where are we hacking? Because that was on Absalom. And she mimes like a triangle. Like an upside down triangle. And she goes, and that kind of went... Aspis isn't the sort of organisation to only have one source of information. Should we go looking for an office on Versus? We can try accessing it through the uh, Infosphere. Okay. And then she like holds up her like our left arm and then like a big kind of like hollow display thing just like covers it a bit like an omni tool idea and mm. she just starts like flicking dials up and a screen appears above her arm and it's just essentially versus internet she loads that up and she's like aspis consortium versus search and it brings up an address and she just holds her arm out and points at it Can we not access them from here? 
Um, she like looks back at the address and looks back at you. We'd we'd have to we'd need a computer that did that. Luckily, we have computers. And she starts doing that thing where she goes to start like moving her hands in front of, like between the two of you, but there's no. Like, she's just making weird faces. Mhm. Mm and she's like, "We. They might find us if we." And she just pauses. <laughs> Good point. We could go in and like a little holo like a pink holographic kind of mustache appears on our lip. We could go in. Uh, alternatively. She looks sad. Could just, <laughs> you, we could use somebody else's connection. And she kind of clicks her fingers and like finger guns you from the hip. And she kind of leans down and goes, Who do you know, Ooze? And just stares at it. He's not much for speaking. So. And she kind of just tilts her head and she's like, How did you get this? We found it. <laughs> True. In a sense. And then um, she kind of closes her search window. She stands back up and she goes, I think she's still got this like pink holographic mustache on. I think we should infiltrate. She like finger guns from the hip. We should infiltrate Aspis Consortium. Gun everyone down that tries to get in her way. Steal a computer and escape like old times. And then like makes the explosion motion with her hands again. You do recall what old times was like. It got us here. I like here. She kind of just shrugs, looks around, points at the couch. Yes, but that approach would mean to be here anymore. Mm. I say we find some sort of internet, cafe, public <laughs> library, somewhere with public terminals. Put on one of your fancy disguises. She looks really proud there. of her moustache, she twiddles the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> so we infiltrate this cafe. Yes. She like narrows her eyes, kind of does the shifty eye side to side. I'll pack the truck. And she just runs out the room. I'll be back soon, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was I was mounted. I would nod. <laughs> oh, yeah, I would nod because I want to come. Okay. <laughs> well, no, because like, he's, he's all standing over yeah, here. Yeah, he would have been in the zone. You'd have witnessed that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have nod. I would nod. I would do the quite essential. Zora nod. Yeah, I mean, you're over here with this nonsense that was happening. Um, Christ. Okay. <laughs> That's escalated. Um, it'll be fine, right? What's the worst that could yeah, happen? Yeah. Um, what is the worst that could happen? I agree, man. Right. Fuck the paper! Right, so... <laughs> um, oh, oh, yep, you have just sailed away in your own... <laughs> box. Who knew that Freedom. came um, Right, so... God, why is that so awkward? There we go. You just can be away in that mission, right? That's fine. Um, also, I found out what my computer gets me. Oh, excellent. Yep, let's retroactively go do that part now. Good to see time's always linear. Yes. We follow this. So, because I'm level 7, I now have a computer equal to half my level. Um, which means I've got a tier 3 computer, which gets me a which has a plus six to diplomacy. Excellent. So
so yes, a plus I'm four from we'll now on. <laughs> That's better than my minus yep, one. That's fine, but that's just for that one interaction where you throw a data pad in front of the salesman, and it's. I mean, technically that's part of my rig, so mm. I'm, I'm picturing just a a hologrammatic face or something popping out of my hand. Yeah, a bit like what Alice had when our her power. Exactly armor. that. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just a, a more charming Nyx. Maybe it looks a bit more like Query. Um, no, it's Lyco's face. It's Lyco's face, that's pretty <laughs> he, he knows how to talk his way through this one. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> <laughs> I have modelled it after mm -hmm. the charismatic one. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Give me a roll. Yeah. I'd like to add a modifier. It's so, okay, we can just do it after the fact. We'll roll it and we'll add whatever needs to be added. So technically it's what, so plus it's 4 D after whatever D20 the... 20 plus 4. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 14. Right, okay, so, yeah, what, 20k? That's probably going to cost for the suits, right? Excellent. Yep. We should acquire those suits. Actually, no, um, I assume Alice has mysticism. Yes, she does. Um, and and spell-like abilities, because spell cost is each. She does have spell-like abilities, yes. Cool, perfect. The best way to think of Alice would be, without Magic. saying Technomancer, Technomancer. Yeah. <laughs> In which case, which is great, because spellcasters that you just gives us protection against spells, because we use spells. Cool. But yeah. It gives us protection against spells, because we can use spells. Yeah, so we'll... It's a logic. So... That includes delivery, by the way. So, uh, yes, they can get that shipped to the uh, the warehouse if you're happy with that, or you can just take them now and wear them out. It's up to you. I'm taking them now. I'm also gonna <laughs> just <laughs> shoot through the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Amazing. Later, bitches. And um, what color are you getting? In? Um, I'm plastic oh, white. Okay. She's probably going to go for right. um, neon pink. So is that a picture that I've just put? Yeah, it's the centre one, isn't it? So. Yeah, with the shiny runes. Yeah, so I think maybe they're um, like the kind of weird gold thing with the cyan runes, but then like the tabard's white for you and hers is that kind of weird kind of pinky purpley with the orange kind of like border to it. Yeah. You know. It looks great. And I will cool. pimp it up later. Nice. So, yeah, and remind me just to her up in it as well. So we'll deal with that in the future when that becomes relevant. Uh, right, so we'll deduct that from the monies from you, so uh, minus 10k from Alice and also Nix. 5 for power or more. That'll do. Good enough. I've spelled Nix wrong but that's fine. Um, yeah, it's a name. <laughs> it's like, it's the wrong account I'm afraid, I've still got all my money. Um, <laughs> right. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh god, you know what it is? It's very um, celestial. Mm. Now, Zig, anything else Zig wants to do before we're uh, wrapping up? Well, other than talk to the cats. I mean, yeah. Because you haven't spoken to the captain yet, and I'm wrapping it up, so... What's happening? Are you going to leave it for now? And go and like maybe circle back on it later? Or are you kind of content feel... with what Lyco said? Yeah, no, yeah, I feel like, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm kind of happy with the, the whole the, the chat with Lyco, to be honest. That's okay. good. Yeah. Now, I'm Zora... Good. The 64k that went to the ship fund, is that just going straight to repair the existing ship? Yeah. yeah. Cool. So, 64k to ship repairs. Okay, okay. Uh, right. Now, Lyco, roll stealth for me. Certainly. Uh, one second. Hey, yeah, it's just rude ones. Cool. And, right. We're nearing the end of that two month period. You'd have had the money transferred. Zora has obviously spoke to this the salvage company and has got like a repair plan in place. Um, 
the starting amount of funds have been put down to obviously start repairing the ship. Uh, we can discuss the stats of the ship, obviously, so everybody who cares about what the stats of the ship will be, please lobby suggestions so I can actually have a price in mind for that. Okay, so that's your homework between sessions, is to build the new ship. Now, it is still the same frame, obviously, as the previous one. However, you can let me know what user adding or removing, etc. Um, from it. For example, we're going to have those luxury bedrooms, finally. Who knows? Yes. Um, however, Zig, a will save. Lyco, Zora, and Nyx. Perception checks, please. Uh, oh, for some reason I can't type, so um. apologies. I forgot that Zig's actually really well built to defend against vampiric voices like Lyco has. Yeah. Uh, who am I missing? Lyco perception. There we go. I need perception? Mm hmm. Right. Boop. Perceptivo. Cool. So, Lyco, uh, Nix, and Alice are away on this mission, right? So, Nix is off with Alice. User setting up Operation Oh Dear God, Why Are We Hacking Stuff from a Distance? Um, Nix, give me a figure of how much money you and Alice are going to spend on buying stuff to hack Aspis. We were probably not going to spend more than a grand on it. Okay, so let's say, a, like, what, a grand each, right? Yeah. Right, so 2k on hack the planet. We'll just include the price of coffee in there. Yep. Right, okay. Roll computers and have whatever. In fact, let me roll Alice's first, right? Computers. I'll roll Alice's first and then. Let's see. I love that picture of Alice. Let's go to the actual character sheet, please. Processing power. Stupid spell list in the way. Right. Alice gets a 13 to help you. <laughs> Helpful. I don't actually think that does help, does it? Or is it just a DC 10? I forget. Um, I think it's just I think DC 10. I guess it's a DC 10. Mm -hmm. I guess it's a DC 10. Cool. Yep. Is that like a plus 1 or a plus 2 or something yet? <sighs> I should remember this. Yeah, I just say and plus 2. Who cares? Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm on a new computer, so I don't have my. So, get okay, plus tilde. Uh, so, computers for me. Oh! Perfect. Oof. So a 19. Lowest I could roll. I mean, 19 is still pretty good for the lowest I could. It's okay, that's fine. Um, so glad I spent so little. That's fine, it's fine. Everything's fine. Um, the 25 perception that you got, you're in, um, I guess, the equivalent of the Versys Costa, and, uh, you know, I guess, Cafe Vero, I guess. Um, oh, no. So you're in there, and the music's still playing, but everybody stopped moving. Hmm. So you and Alice are sat there. Alice is talking shit, obviously, and mm -hmm. pointing at things and like opening lines of code up that make no sense, but make funny pictures, and she's obviously helping. Uh, and then it's probably putting you off, quite frankly, when you're trying to hack this. The, yeah. but then yeah, everything's like people stop moving. What do you do? Oh, I spin around in my chair. Okay. And I... imagine like a fifties diner, right? You're probably in a booth yeah. in the right in the middle of the place. Um, so there's a booth sliding the windows, there's the like the actual diner bar type part as well, and user maybe in the middle, right? 
So you are in like a booth in the middle. Everything everything stops. When you say it stops, it's in uh, people are literally frozen in what they were doing. Yes. I stand up. Kind of move into the middle of the diner. And you move in the middle of the diner. What? Sorry, I missed the last part. Um, I trailed off because okay. I was thinking. That's okay. Um, yeah. and yeah, kind of survey the area, looking. I think if there's a source of something. Yeah, so like you stand up, right, and you look around, and Alice is like, "What is it?" They've stopped. And she looks around. And she's like, "They haven't stopped outside," and she just points like through the window. That doesn't make me feel more comfortable. Did you break them? I don't think I can. Can I kind of tap somebody? Uh, yeah, like so. Let's say there's somebody serving the table at the window, right? Mm -hmm. So just across from you guys, um, the waitress is maybe like half kind of bit over filling coffee that's just pouring. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I move the jug out of her hand. Mm -hmm. Yep. Because I'll make a mess. Yeah, and it just seems like she stopped. Wave a hand in front of her face. Yep, no movement. You can see that um, with your 25 as well, like maybe you can like take a good look at the woman's face. And obviously, given that she's like all verses, uh, she's got obviously slightly less than humanoid uh, vis like visuals, but it does look like her eyes drying out. Like obviously she should be blinking, but isn't. Can I cast Detect Magic? Uh, yeah. You can. I cast Detect Magic. Good. Uh, as you start casting that, you hear a uh, sharp clicking. Is it coming from anywhere in particular? It gets slightly louder. As if it's coming from the other side of the diner. Does it sound insectoid? Mm, what does that sound like to you? Like it's not well, like chittering. We say if that makes sense, it's yeah. almost like um. How to put it? Someone tapping on glass. Yeah, I'm just trying to get the difference between something kind of mechanical and something yeah. biological. Yeah. So. Yeah. So. I don't know if that's coming through or not, but... Yep. It's definitely coming through. <laughs> oh lord, it's coming through! So yeah, oh and then lord. you hear a voice. And, uh... The... Can I help you? And you turn around, and there is a woman standing... Yes. ...with yep. long black hair. Slightly Asian of face. And uh, her legs Long trail off legs. into black points to the ground. And we cut from Alice and uh, Nick's five there. Lyco. Hello. You, uh, you did okay on your perception, didn't you? I'm pretty perceptive, boy, yeah. What is up? Yep. <laughs> uh, <laughs> giant white and gold door appears right in the middle of your desk splitting it open that. yes <laughs> Sorry. and then out walks S. Kate and turns around um, and looks straight at you and she goes I'll pay for that the door vanishes uh, leaving you in like dodgy blue lighting uh, yeah the vault Grab your guns. And that's where that cuts. Mm, urgency. Z Zig. Mm. You wake up with a start as if you'd fell asleep, right? So don't know if you're lying on the uh -huh. couch in the living area with the ooze, don't know if you went to your, one of your room like to the room, um, to be on your own, or if you're hiding in shitty storage. So you tell me where you where you were, but 
which which location in the base are you in? Um, no, I think I think in just in the the sort of like commonish area. Cool. Um, oh, I did, I'm apparently just moving like I was doing apparently. Um, right, so we'll move Zig in there. Sorry, my, so, my laptop's playing up, so I can't move in. That's okay. So like you wake with a start in the room, and you're looking around, and it's very hot. Very very hot. But there's nobody in the room. Like the ooze isn't in the room. Um, oh. There's no noise of like mechanical work getting done next door. What do you do? It shouldn't be this hot. I think the first thing I, I assume there's a, you know, heat control thermostat type thing. I mean, you'd think the... so, but it's more likely that there's probably standing lamps that work that heat rooms. Uh huh. Okay. And um, well, I think I think he'd he'd kind of get up and kind of maybe walk into the the, the sort of garage area to try and cool off or um whatever. He'd try trying to see where any any sort of like yeah. heat would be coming so from if all the heat. And you stuff like touch the door as you go to push yeah. like the door open to go into like the garage. The door is like searing hot. Do you keep pushing yeah, or do think... you back off? Oh, he'd back off. Um, I think he'd, he'd he'd kind of try and see if he can s kind of sense through the door, sort of. Um, yeah, although he doesn't really have many telepathic -y type <laughs> things. Um, it's okay. Um, yeah, you kind of really have the do you push through the door or do you just kind of like pull back? What's the... um, I think he would, he would try and like, he'd like kind of like try and wrap his wrap wrap himself in like you know, um, his his cl his clothes. Try and make some sort of like oven glove essentially, and try mm -hmm. and open the door without yeah like, burning himself. Right, like you push through and kind of stumble into a room that's just bathed in orange light. The floor seems to be um, wet, um, like you're just standing on the surface of water, and. The Radiant Supreme standing across from you. I think. Like, there's Zig no walls kind of... anymore. Like, it's just orange uh -huh. light everywhere. Uh, I think Zig would kind of just, like, just drop at that point, kind of, like, just to, kind of to his knees and just kind of awe stricken. And I think the only um, noise we hear is, like, as you hit the ground, it's like that kind of water droplet noise of, like, the ripples coming out between you. And as soon as the ripples, mm -hmm. like, hit the Radiant Supreme. He steps forward and says, Burning Sun, this stranger has been woken. And then we cut on Zig. Sora! Yes. You find that you're kind of just wandering, obviously, the, the base. Where are you in the base? Probably near my quarters. Okay. Your um, personal comm goes. I would answer. Okay. It is a a kind of automated message that says this is a secure channel. I acknowledge. Uh, yes. It's in Vesk as well. Oh, okay. Uh, reply, invest, yes. This is. And then the uh, the Vesk automated message plays, which says, your uh, presence has been uh, ordered. Oh, and, and, it gives, and it gives the name of a like Vesk serial number for a ship. And that a transport has been arranged, and that you will meet with the Event Horizon. The Event Horizon is the name of your commander from <laughs> the Obsidian Star. Oh. Um, Matva Vrala Nel. I'm oh, sorry, Nestless, I should say. I'm going to post the whole name in the chat for you guys, because obviously, why wouldn't I? There's so much fucking names. It's not so bad to go, that's for sure. Um, you. 
Let me just pop this in here for you. That is the name of your commander. She was a head of the Obsidian Star. I decided that she's a woman because it's probably scarier, since Vesk women are scarier. Um, I go. Stronger. Mm -hmm. She was known as the Event Horizon. Uh, okay. And you have essentially been called up. And a transport will be arranged for you. Ah, <sighs> oh, lovely. Um, and it's, I mean, you need to send your location data. I need to send my location data? Yep. And like, do it! Walk down the street, I got a chunk as well. Like, so <laughs> before just, I do that. So you just like, boost away, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, okay. So, uh, as uh, Zora's walking down there, obviously, Com replies the location data, and I think literally by the time, like you maybe like I don't know. Let's say you like say the town square that's maybe like a good fifty minute walk away or some shit. Um, you like boost away up the street, um, maybe full pelt running as we know you're good at, um, especially when there's not any doors in your way. <laughs> you. Uh, no, I'm pretty good again through doors. Yep. Like, like, I was good at running through doors. So I'm not very good at actually like. Operating doors. <laughs> and like the equivalent of like a massive reinforced cargo pod just f like breaks atmosphere and smashes into the ground um, at the coordinates. And like the uh, like the doors kind of like whoosh open as maybe you're like running up to that spot. And out steps a bunch of Vesk in clearly the Obsidian Star kind of outfits. And they all salute you and refer to you as the Abyss. <sighs> With eye roll. They scream, obviously. <laughs> it's like, oh, I didn't miss this. And then um, they gesture inside. Go inside. And then the door slams shut. The giant thrusters at each corner of this big giant kind of box thing, the green, kind of dark green box, starts launching back into space. And we just get this shot of the camera, like following the kind of like box up, and then it tilts back down into like the alleyway and looks back, and we just see the ooze slowly coming up the street. <laughs> oh, no, no. Go back! And, Go uh, back! <laughs> that's us, that by the way, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the anniversary session. Yes. Thank um, you. Yes. We have happy anniversary, everyone. Yeah. Well done for making it a year with the fucking nonsense and enjoy the 20 million new quests I've just given you guys. Um, we have a lot to cover. Uh, yeah. Um, we have, let's just take a very brief summary. Uh, Lyco with SK on the vault mission. Yeah. Uh, our missing captain. Uh, our fucking mind walking rat that apart the stranger has awoke. Um, or been woken, sorry. Uh, and then, yeah. and then, uh, yeah, what looks like Emma O. It's not my fault. <laughs> it's not my name. It's not my fault. It's not so, my fault. um, yeah, she wouldn't like being hacked. There, um, the other thing as well, can everyone rule culture? And this will be a bit of a meta rule, except for Zig. So, uh, Zig, you can roll with non-meta rules. Everybody else can roll with meta. Okay. I rolled 29. Um... Yes, that's it. No one. Uh, there we go. There we go. She's a pro badly today. So... There is a planet known as the Stranger. Octurn. At the outer edge of the solar system. Oh, yeah, this is. This. Yeah. yeah. The Stranger. And that is called the Stranger. Stranger things. And apparently, that has been woken. It's a fucking egg. I've seen this episode of Doctor Who. <laughs> <laughs> or, or it's ego, or um, oh god, what's what's the what's the uh, the DC one? Is ego the DC one? No, ego's Star Lord's dad. Mogo is well, the one you're thinking no. of. Mogo is the Green Lantern one. Right? Yeah, yeah. 
There we are. Plan. Um, right, let's do our naming of the anniversary session, shall we? Mm. One door opens. <laughs> yeah, when one door, when one door, cl no, something to do with doors. Fuck it, I can't think of anything clever, but doors. <laughs> doors. The doors. I was about to say just the doors is what I was typing there. Hold the door. Oh god, no. Um, no. Um, there was something earlier that I was thinking. I think um, we should just call it. Uh, to be honest, I actually just think we should just call it show bad to go. Show bad not to go. Burst, then. Not car hole. <laughs> car hole. Operation car hole is also an option, I guess. Um, I, I, I don't mind Operation car hole. And... What about in memory of Emily and Darley? Uh, I mean, yeah. I'm... Universe best death. Universe's best RPG. <laughs> Universe's um, best. Yeah, I mean, like, universe is best. Uh, I don't really mind what you want to call this. Of eternity. <laughs> universe is best car hole. Um, That's the mug. But, um, you need. Uh, <laughs> I think. Operation car hole. Um, <laughs> Operation best dad. <laughs> Um, the Vesk a galaxy can get. <laughs> the Vesk that galaxy. <laughs> um, what now? <laughs> Where do we go from here? Um, <clears throat> mm -hmm. well, I'm good. The stranger. Where do we go now? Stranger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Sorry, no, too too much, too pop culture. Um, what about too young, too fast? What about clip show? <laughs> Keep show. Um. Well, we got a vote for one so far, so that's winning so far. Evan has for myself. Yep. <laughs> I think show bad to go, quite frankly. Yep. I'm also show, show, bad bad. Goes, uh... show bad to go bad. <laughs> I'll vote for show bad to go as well, personally, because I think it's hilarious. Okay, show bad to go. Show bad's spelled wrong, though. I'm, 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 yeah. Aren't we all spelled wrong, in a way? No. I speak all the languages. Session That's 30B. Uh, 30 Doesn't B. mean you're 30B. Right. Session 30B, as opposed to 30A. Um, show bad to go. To go. Fucking hell. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> atrocious. Nobody really questions it. Parentheses, uh, the anniversary edition. Yeah. Uh, right. So in memoriam. <laughs> in memoriam. <laughs> you. <laughs> um, I still just love what next. Um, um. <laughs> did you break them? <laughs> uh, right. Okay. So things to care about. Right. Let's look at the goals. Uh, Get this. Uh, I would say that you're. You've probably completed. I could probably wipe that off. Like, I think the no, process. I'm happy to. Like, like, if you want to move that over to the uh, completed list, I'm happy with that. Yeah, don't really know what it would be now. I'd be probably. <laughs> don't know. It'd be too cheesy. I don't know. I don't know. Find out what's happening with the Vesk, I guess. It'd be the next one. Yes. Oh, you tell me. What is your next goal? Yeah, I'd probably be at like. Uh, I'm gonna want of it. I don't know. Well, um, move that into the. The goals under the level seven for your get the ship fixed because you can do that one while you're working on that. Nix five. Yes. Yeah. So how sneakable is your armor? It's very sneakable. We snuck right into Aspis. I feel right that's bullshit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a fan of that one. It's yeah. I feel like you're definitely getting the obtain the power armor thing right. Um, yeah. I would say that if we just scrap the make it sneakable part, we can just complete that. I appreciate that, mm -hmm. because yep. I'm suddenly not struggling to come up with ways to make power armor sneakable. Mm -hmm. Yep, except just wrapping it in, like, I don't know, someone else. Camo net. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, you've just invented Terminators! <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, uh, uh. Brilliant idea. Let's do that. <laughs> That should have been the session title, oh my god, you just invented Terminators. Um, yeah, but they didn't <laughs> yet. They only yeah, around it. But wait until you see what we get up to next session. Lyco, your goal seems to still be ongoing. Um, 
It is, but I feel I made some good uh, non-goal progress. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If such a thing can be. Mm -hmm. uh, can such things be to use the title of an Ambrose Beer story collection? Are you wanting to have that sidelined for current revelations, or are you happy to have that as is? Um... I'm going to sit in this one then now. That's fine. Yep, yeah, we can talk about the start of next session. Okay. We'll deal with that. Zig. Hey. At no point did you confront the captain. No. And I know what everyone say. I was like, oh, wow, you no, got no. every opportunity. I to think think it, but, um, I just was going to happily make you aware that you are actively not doing the thing you wrote as your goal. Yes, but no, I was aware of that. I'm not ever going to tell you what you should be doing as your character because that's up to you. So yeah, it was it was definitely one of those things that I was like, ah, oh, yes, I could just go, ah, I'll just do that up the cabin. But I feel like I think it made sense that, that you point, spoke to Lyco. Like I'll be honest, like given have. what I like, I know of Zig and like his relationships with the crew. I think it makes perfect sense that you went and spoke to Lyco. Um, yeah, I because enjoy it's, the Lyco's been yeah. Lyco's like so far has been like consistent with the fact that he's been very straight with how Lyco thinks mm. with Zig about that sort of like aspect of life you know everything's kind of shitty and you just got to deal with it so the, it, it kind of made sense that that's how Zig would have seen him anyway and been like well okay I can kind of talk to Lyco about this because he's been saying this sort of stuff for the past X amount of time. Yeah, whatever else Lyco might be, he's kind of upfront with, you know, not necessarily being the most savory character in the world. Yeah, he's 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 never sort of felt the need to disguise what he was from the rest of the crew, in any sense. Maybe he wasn't always completely upfront. Adjustments, but he doesn't hide them either. He uses them when need be, rather than sort of hide them back from the crew. So I think, yeah, I think it's, I think it's cool. It, it? It, it, it it made sense at that point, and it does. It, it makes some steps towards the the second half of that. Mm -hmm. So are you happy to have that as your current goal, or do you want to readjust that goal then? Um, I think I'm happy to keep it. Yeah. Um, because it's it's like immediately attainable. What confronting the captain? Well, that that bit's immediately. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it would be. Um, I mean, in I, theory. I mean, I feel like it isn't attainable right now because no. you are in mind space, and yes. the captain is in space space. Yeah, Quite possibly in space. Fine. space. <laughs> um, but um, I think I think I'll sit in it. Yeah, that's fine. We can obviously work on that next week as well. We can reword those Gosh. things. I don't mind doing that. Um, next, do you have a replacement goal in mind out of interest? Um, survive. <laughs> this is um, not a bad one. Win. Yes. Win. Survive what? Win the game. Uh, MO. What? There you go then. Have that as your goal. Or oh, understand the ooze. Ooh. The secret of the ooze. But yeah. Probably <laughs> down a street trying to find me. The plot are going to see the ooze again. Oh, that will see oh, no. Slowly vomits <laughs> up a small spaceship, jumps in, comes yeah. to rescue you, guns them all down. That'd be my deed. Do it. <laughs> best ooze ever. <laughs> you just need to have Zig mind link with the ooze, have it like <laughs> die. Go through apotheosis, become ooze god. <laughs> Welcome to the new pantheon. Oh, no. uh, just Zig's new name is called Pantheon. Um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, uh, where did you even start with this? Right, we've named the session. We've done goals. We'll chat about goals later uh, when we revisit this. Uh, let us start with Zora when we do our our post game chat. Um, First of all, thanks for playing for a year. <laughs> yes. Thank you for running. Thank you for yeah. running. Yeah. Oh dear, what, a, what an interesting world, though, right? I don't mean what I've wrote. I mean just like Starfinders, like actual stuff. Um, <laughs> I don't think I'm in love with the system in any way, other than I love the <laughs> setting. <laughs> it's it's weird. It definitely has yeah. some very strange, like 
it doesn't always explain itself and it but it is fun i am enjoying it yeah i definitely think that second edition is a necessary thing at some point yeah I agree. This is this is not an addiction that should last forever. This is very much a first date. Yeah, I'd be interested to see actually what you think of second edition Pathfinder, Ryan, because I've heard Starfinder described as 1.5 Pathfinder. Yeah, so let's just talk about that for a very brief second then, shall we? Pathfinder at second ed has a really interesting thing where you have like three actions on your turn and mm-hmm. some of your moves might take one, two, or three of those actions to activate, depending on how big they are. Which I think is... Like an exactly. Smaller, light scale. Yeah. And I think that's quite interesting. The other thing they were speaking about, I had a really interesting kind of perusal about a 5th Ed versus Pathfinder 2nd Ed thing, and one mm-hmm. of the biggest things was, excuse me, people saying, there's lots of pluses and minuses, as in literally plus ones and minus ones within Pathfinder that you don't get yeah. in... 5th ed, but 5th ed feats seem better than Pathfinder feats, and the most interesting kind of resolution to this was somebody that said, I've played both, I like both, but people seem to not understand that Pathfinder lets you make what you want from a class that is on offer. D&D gives you the class you will play. Yes. And that Mm -hmm. is why I think, for example, Colin's playstyle would prefer Pathfinder over Fifth Ed, to be perfectly honest. Quite possibly, although. Like, I think it gives you. I can Fifth Ed. It's the fact that every second level or so, you would get to pick a like a almost like a mini Fifth Ed feat that lets you tailor mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. class to be yeah. your specific version of the thing you like, versus yeah, it that being. Does seem like. I honestly, like I would honestly bet money that you'd probably enjoy Pathfinder Second Ed more than Fifth Ed for what you could build, not necessarily the execution of the play, but the build. Um, it was a really interesting look, but um, that could be a whole recording unto itself as I was talking about that. Um, <laughs> Probably will be at some yeah. point. Um, let's have Zora give us the post game, shall we? You're muted. I'll put all the way around. We'll get used to this eventually. We'll get used to this eventually. Um, I've only been here. <laughs> I enjoyed the the conversation between Lyco and uh, Sig. It was always fun. I like <laughs> Colin really trying to <laughs> keep it going. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Done very well doing so. Uh, and I, I also enjoyed uh, just Alex and his ridiculous hack plan, infiltration <laughs> plan. I love it. I was just like, where'd you go? To be fair, it did seem like Alice was super keen on getting out of the office, as it were. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's would be. <laughs> yeah. But our first, well, this whole adventure is probably my first time off the ship. Yeah. Properly. Yep. It pretty much has been, let's face it. Um, this is all new for her. Yeah. Which is interesting. And then um, obviously your little revelation at the end, eh? With this, the, I would enjoy this. And enjoy this. With the wonderful Matt Va- Varala Nestless. <laughs> yeah, this will be interesting. Yeah. Sure. Also, <laughs> yeah, it's just. Yeah. How could you not have somebody in charge of the Obsidian Star not be called the Event Horizon, right? So. Yeah, it's. I. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it not only it, is it, it was a favorite. name that was entirely in keeping with my expectations of what the person might be called. <laughs> Yeah, it's not quite as grandiose as the the great or what was it called the the grand... grave epoch yeah, annihilator. The, that's the one. Yeah, the grave epoch annihilator. <laughs> no, no, it isn't quite as but I think it tells you a bit about these people, right? Like Matva probably is good at her job, hence why she's in charge of the Obsidian Star, and then Mogesh is probably the thing you send in to destroy planets. So yeah, yeah. But that's that's uh, it. Yeah, I can't wait to see how Zora diplomacies his way out of that. Um, yeah, it's interesting. I like how it was an order, even though I'm technically not a part of the military anymore. I, like I mean, how does that work in Vesk culture, right? Like, yeah, I mean, Vesk... they probably think it's my duty. Like, <laughs> they probably, like... Yeah. Plus, I had two options there. Like, 
I'll be up front at this point. I was tempted to have them come down and arrest you and take you, and I thought, that doesn't feel right, because you are actually, like, celebrated as a member of this culture. So, it made sense your boss would just be like, well, I'm just going to order them and hope they turn up. Right? Because yeah. I had that choice as a DM I'm when I was writing far it. too interested to turn that in. <laughs> like, <laughs> but, like, <laughs> that's the thing, though, right? Like, I was writing it, and I thought, it doesn't make sense that they would just go and take you, because A, they don't know where you yeah. are, they would have had you used your celebrityhood, right? So yeah. that would have made this part easier for me. But that's why they're like, no, I'll send orders and we'll see what happens. Then if you defy the orders, they had cause to arrest you. So that was my thought yeah. process. I was like, <laughs> Vesk legality, back them into a corner. Yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> so that'd be interesting. Uh, anything else you want to add to the uh, post game? No, I'll, I'll do the thing. Do the yes. thing. Uh, Alex, is it next five. Um, <laughs> Hello. I I thank you for playing it. for a year. <laughs> oh yes, that's quite all right. I'm glad, glad we got this far. Yeah. And, uh, Me too. Many, many more years to come. Mm -hmm. Shut up. <laughs> 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 well, just keep playing this until uh, Second Dead Starfinder comes out. <laughs> yeah. I'd, I mean, I'd sincerely, like... that. Uh, I, it's one thing I keep on hitting up against with this book is that I just wish it were written a little better. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I wish um, it wasn't like read this chapter and then skip like three quarters of the way into the book to get to the next part. Mm -hmm. Like the paragraph that I'm reading, like uh, I don't like that. Yeah. The fucking... <laughs> yeah. If, if anyone was wondering what I was doing, trying to figure out what diplomacy my computer gives me, I was actually trying to work out how many computers I have mm -hmm. and what level they are. Yeah. Because I think I've got them from multiple places. And some yeah, are built in and some aren't. Yeah. And it's some are from armor. And it's all pretty opaque. Uh -huh. Yeah. I mean, um, those are all important things to work out. <laughs> I don't think there was a point yeah. during this that anyone had to not work something out, right? Every day at some point I had no, to sit and go, really how do we do the thing? But that's, that's Starfinder, as we have learned. Um, yeah. I think some of it's also genre convention. Like, uh, sci-fi is almost inherently going to be more technical mm -hmm. than fantasy because, yeah, how do you try to abstract computers is difficult. Oh, 100%. Yeah. The, um... but yes. Yeah, Karen, sorry. I was going to say, for the session highlights, um, obviously Zora's fantastic um, <laughs> rescue of the ship. It's mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the very glorious. Love Just... <laughs> Crap rules. Every plan of the captains just seems to end in someone being on fire, yep. which I appreciate. Mm -hmm. uh, Usually the captain can... also. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad he's got some defense against that now. Mm -hmm. uh, and also, thoroughly enjoyed uh, Colin's scheming. Mm. Yeah, I wouldn't it's... describe it as scheming. <laughs> you literally said, can I yeah, find... Was. Other people doing what we're trying to do, so I can get them to stop doing it, so we can be the only ones doing the thing. <laughs> yeah, I, and honestly, I mean, you could you could look at it in that sense, but look, also, I brought some hoodlums to justice. Uh, no, was... you've just replaced them. <laughs> yeah, with a better class of hoodlums. And the best named it... NPC so far, right? Yeah. <laughs> with a Drastal <laughs> Shatterbrand. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think the way the way Lyco would look at it was um, Lyco is altogether a, a less harmful thing to have around operating that sort of thing than uh, than your dust bandit types are. Like, yeah, let's go with that. Yeah. Um. Yeah. That's yeah, there. shenanigans. Yeah. I like the pet ooze. I feel like the pet ooze coming that after the cute. captain was just fantastic. Yes. The ooze will come through. And the montage also, we'll never have of it, um, having <laughs> killed all those goblins. Uh, it's good knowledge on our side. Mm. Did what I could not, son. Also, <laughs> I'm just looking at PDF. Is the Pathfinder 2nd edition this ugly in real life? Uh, just... No, no, I actually really like the layout of the book for Pathfinder 2nd I will find that ooze again. Yeah. yeah, I know, man. This isn't the same as like putting a space dog in a taxi and letting it just drive off. Yeah, I've got time this time, right? It's not the finale, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. I mean, 
I feel like wherever it goes, we're gonna find out that we've just done things. <laughs> like, it's, uh, yeah, <laughs> this isn't losing your cat. It's <laughs> it's kind yeah. of legendary. Always. It just looks up and wobbles sadly as the subtitles come up. <laughs> <laughs> Secrets of the Oz. Oh, so good. Uh, is there should add to that post game? No, nope, that's that's good. Good, good. Zig. Oh. Um, we all know why. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. That's very fair. Um, obviously. Thank you I, for I, playing I, for I, a year. I, well, Almost. Technically, I've not been playing for a year, but we'll, we'll gloss over that fact. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I've got another like four weeks. Uh, you were before. meant to be here though, so, and you were yeah, mentioned so at the start, so. Up. Hashtag Callum Zig's is precious. Been here for, <laughs> for a year. Uh, Callum has not. <laughs> um, uh, no, obviously, I thoroughly enjoyed um, having that moment with uh, Laiko. Was was fun. Um, but kind of more than most things, you know, as always, for some reason, I don't know how you do it, the dice rolls kind of just made me really happy today. Yeah, they just work, don't they? Like, um... Me failing makes you happy. <laughs> what... Your dice don't were on fire, Zora, failure. what are you talking about? <laughs> the the thing was, I, I guess that, yeah, that, that was kind of dramatically bad, but, I mean... Things went pretty well for us in the whole, right? Yeah, but like in general, it was the dice rolls seemed to just kind of suit mm. what what the the most um, interesting outcomes. I would say that's been the case for the year as well. Yeah, uh -huh. it's, it's kind of a nice nice sort of <laughs> I don't know. It's like a, the the fate of the the universe just wants us to. Yeah. Obviously, you've got weird kind of space slugs things. talking to you in your head, being like, "Please go find out what the fuck the stranger is." Uh, yes. Yeah. Um, I also, I you know, I obviously enjoyed uh, Zora's antics at the start; it was just fantastic. Um, Nick and Alice, the dynamic duo of androidness. <laughs> it's just Androidant. It's an amazing Android. word. Yeah. Let's go for that. Yep. Uh, yep. I'm gonna write that down. Is that got like the N apostrophe T? Um. Um. Droidant. Yeah. Um. It's just. Nineteen <laughs> fifties yeah, versus diner. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it was just. It was. It was just good. Um. And obviously, it was great to kind of get um all the all the sort of admin of the the base and the whole ship stuff yeah sorted. plus i wanted to add like i wanted to like almost like montage a lot of that for the sake of covering a lot of stuff that a we need to cover but at the same time like it gives me a way of letting you guys get a new start given that you've lost a big asset but you can mm -hmm. actually start working and i don't really see the point in making you guys roll every single day to get yourselves back on track we can just say you have done this. What did everybody do to get a head start? Bam! Here's how you did. And quite frankly, yeah, you actually did pretty damn well. Like, Zora probably did the best role to get the supply of good quality parts. Um, so really, that entire write-off that is the salvage operation was made up for the yeah. actually maybe going to the right people and going legitimate instead of illegitimate for the parts. Um... Which means it would And I got a pet who's with the salvage mission. And yeah, well, you did ask for a pet at some point, do you know what I mean? And it was that, or you go like the slave trade for a, you know, Scatterimander. So there's still time. I mean, I prefer the pet who's, quite frankly. Scatterimander would be hilarious, but a bit too overburn. This is quite alright. Just there, wobbles every now and then. It's all good, man. Also, probably a bit less sentient. Hmm. Well, How do you know? seem to be very intelligent. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, it's mostly just oozed. <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> um, Zig, Powers of observation. Uh, anything else you'd like to add, Zig? Um, no, not that I can think of. Um, Something I'm going to ask Zig, though. 
What is Zig's feelings on mind links with Radiant Supreme, right? Mm. Because obviously Zig's in a weird place with him. Not a fan. Mm. But then there is there is Zig kind of post conversation with Lyco though. Do we have a new Zig? You know. Oh, it's, it's 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 one of those things. Obviously, Callum's torn. Mm. But I feel like mm. Zig has Natalie and Burgley is torn currently about that, and um, he's a bit highly strung as it is. Sorry. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, overall, not a huge fan. Is this kind of a really bad time for the Radiant Supreme to just show up? <laughs> I, I would say it's a really bad time for everybody right now. You know, given Emma O, S K, uh, Matva. It's a really yeah. bad time. Name of next uh, next session. Mm -hmm. Timing should have been the. Uh, session title yes. um, so yeah anything I should like to add there Zig um, no other than happy anniversary and it's, it's been fun yeah now before we move on to Lyco yeah. I'm gonna say thank you to Oka for having played with us uh, Emma yes. and Dally is definitely missed amongst the crew Um She's probably glad she wasn't here for the ship crashing. That's probably good. Um, but yeah, uh, if we ever got a chance to get em Emlyn back, I'm pretty sure she could fit in somehow, given the current introduction of Emma O. And yeah, we'll see how that plays out for year two of a... Uh, year two? The Fragments of Eternity. Are we any closer to working out what the Fragments are yet, by the way? Like, is that a thing we've maybe worked out? Uh, I thought that was just these episodes. Yeah. So, Lyco. Each fragment is a piece of Zig's emotional spectrum. <laughs> that, we, <laughs> that we discard as we go into battle yeah. Zig. <laughs> um, Lyco, hit us up with a post game, shall you? Um, life is a mystery. Uh, everyone must stand alone. Um, <laughs> sorry, I hear you call my name. <laughs> and it feels like home. Anyway. Um, <laughs> sang that on Saturday. It was really good. Awesome. Brilliant track. Genuinely. Some of the Madonna stuff, fantastic. Anyway. Um, <laughs> we're talking about RP at the moment. <laughs> sure. Um, so yeah, uh, my my uh, my thoughts. I enjoyed actually, enjoyed very much the nonsense that, that resulted from some dice rolls. Mm -hmm. And I would say, uh, let let me let me switch into kiss ass mode for a second because like getting the dice rolls that you need. Right, the thing is, you don't get the dice rolls that you need. You get the dice rolls and then you make something with them. And uh, for a year you've been doing that and and and. You've made something rather fun with it, so thank thank you very much, Ryan. Um, oh, thank you. See, I can I can be nice. I can yeah. be nice. Also, <laughs> no, but sincerely again, for uh, for you as well. Thank you very much for being with us for your. This is what your second game properly, I guess. Really, um, it's my second game that yeah has actually lasted, and I've had a couple of one shots. But yeah, yeah, this will be this is my second sort of continuing game, as I would put it. I suppose, mm. and uh, I am. Arguably, still pretty new at this, and uh, yeah, only, only like two years in campaigns. Yeah, like <laughs> and yeah, I, mean, like, I have not been a, uh, I've not been doing this for as long as some folks I know have, and I feel like a lot of it I'm still learning because I think a lot of people have like D twenty systems down. Just you just know instinctively what certain rules will be because they're so consistent across mm. modern D twenty. Uh, and I feel like I still have to think about those things or look them up when maybe others don't uh, sometimes. But no, I, f I feel like I've definitely improved a bit as a player. And honestly, yeah, it's it's been great. I I am I'm one. It's one of those things where I'm shocked how much I've taken to RP. And yeah, it can be really draining at times. Admittedly, like it is, it's work. It, it is work. But uh, I sort of. I don't like the idea of being without it, you know? Uh, mm -hmm. Anyway, 
uh, rather than talking about RPG generally, I probably should talk a little <laughs> bit more about this session. <laughs> uh, so, uh, I'd like to say, yeah, I enjoyed very much. Of course, the things went off, because if you're gonna have grenades that can't hurt the captain, of course they're gonna go off in the other people. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> you know, law of drama demands it, surely. So there's a nine um, on a survival roll. Yeah, well... <laughs> <laughs> that too. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I, I was uh, I was very amused by that, and and also as I say, I liked that things went really well overall this session. There was that uh, screwiness with that, mm -hmm. um, and I think it's it, it it's nice because we have that sort of mix, right? It's not just a sort of uh, oh things go weird because of a bad row. It was a uh, it's a nice mix of things getting a bit iffy, but also things going very well and maybe some unexpected development. So I just, I felt like it was sort of, it didn't set this, this you know, completely set the tone for the whole thing. It wasn't just like, oh, look at these roles, it's going to be one of those sessions, right? Uh -huh. It was... It was setting up something really cool where we all were pretty successful in, in setting this up in terms of actually not, not you know, setting up the session, setting up what we were doing in the session. I realised I used the same phrase for two different things. I was like, very clarifying. Um, so yeah, that, that, that was cool. Um, Zig is... Zig's an interesting one because Callum, uh, you're very much playing him as a sort of babe in the woods type character and... Uh, it's it's interesting that he goes to Lyco, and I can see why, because Lyco is quite upfront, and, and I, I like to believe it's because Lyco is be. the furthest gone. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> the furthest I gone. Silent on the he, like, he has a sense of justice, right? I mean, it might be a flawed sense of justice still, but he does. Like he he, he is, if anything, quite eager at times to work with the Popo. Mm -hmm. uh, because he does, he sort of, yeah, the Popo, I know, sorry. Um, he shares uh, some of their views, and he obviously holds them in some regard, and they clearly at least think of him as useful. Mm -hmm. uh, and I like that, because uh, he's he's a very... I'm not quite sure... Like, I call him neutral. I'm not quite sure where other people would place him on the... the uh, the morality ometer, the uh, that is the alignment chart. I'd uh, say um, me, chaotic all right. I think is the alignment. Chaotic all right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, but for <laughs> me, I, I go for neutral because he's someone who he really does. It's not like he's a bad guy. He's just you know not willing to let a sense of morality get in the way of getting by in life, and he does have mm -hmm. beliefs that he does sort of try to stick to and things that he views as good and that he tries to do and he doesn't do a lot of the things that he thinks of as bad so while undeniably he is a little happier with the trigger than some uh, I really do think he is he is a, a somewhat moral character just you know he's not completely immoral but he maybe isn't instinctively moral mm -hmm. I don't know, he's an interesting one in that I haven't quite figured him out. Um, I still think like he could end up in a very different place than where he started off from. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to do the classic thing of comparing him to Dietrich. Uh, Dietrich. Dietrich was Dietrich day one to the end, and it was more a case of people figuring out, the people around him. Mm -hmm. Like, getting getting it into their heads, that despite the fact that he looked a lot like Alan Moore and was a necromancer, and you know was weird and carried a skeleton in a burlap sack. Mm -hmm. He was actually kind of a good guy, right? He, yeah, like, he it, was, it was almost guy. a voice of morality in a lot of situations. He, yeah, at times he really was. I mean, like, what, that, that was... But that's what I like about Lyco, because Lyco isn't the voice of morality. He's a voice of, here's how you could look at the situation yeah. if you want to be moral, and here's how you could look at it if you want to be successful. <laughs> that's, yes. I think the difference is, like, um, uh, you know... The, the pragmatism of someone like Dietrich was that he wasn't willing to let these, what he thought perfectly useful magics go to waste the pragmatism of uh, of Lyco is that he's not gonna you know, 
let someone get away when they might be a problem in the future. Yeah, yeah. I think that's, that came up in that session there, right? Shooting someone in the back. Yeah. It came up in that yeah, session there literally yeah, with them. Um, your problem solving was, I'll look for our rivals and I'll get rid of them. Yeah. And that, that worked. Um, anything else you want to add about the session that isn't us just yeah, dissecting um, your previous I mean, characters? I mean, <laughs> Uh, no, I I do I do enjoy making the sort of comparisons and thinking about it. And uh, so yeah, I, I would I would also like to say uh, the session with that Alice being really weird, and and, and Nick's having to deal with that mm. while also being quite weird. But no, it's it interesting. Uh, they're very Alice is always going to be weird. Very it's her thing. Just because uh, I've said it before, but Alex has a very very. Not, not quite convincing, convincing sort of the wrong word for it, but you do a very good job of that sort of flat effect of the android. Like, you, you do mm -hmm. play it very flat. No one has to imagine that you're saying it in a different way. No one's having to think, you know, what would it sound like? Because you are capturing the tone. Yeah, you might not be getting the exact voice, you're not putting on an accent like I am, but you're doing a very good job of conveying the manner I think it helps that a lot of that speaks. tone carries the what would be the audience implied sarcasm to the lines yeah. that come from it. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. That's true. Um, so it is. Was that I think that also. I was just gonna say it's actually yeah. It's sometimes difficult because in like my other game that I play and regulate, I'm such a sarcastic shit, mm -hmm. and playing a charisma twenty character. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's always that uh, coming to the flat. There's yeah. room for that to come Very through different. without it being problematic because, yeah, you do have that kind of two degree author avatar, not author, audience avatar sort of thing, mm -hmm. where it's like uh, you, because you are this more rational, more not mechanical, but less less tied up in their various eccentricities uh, than some of her crew are. Um, I think, like, you get to play the role of the one who is actually sometimes more the normal guy who is sitting there going, mm -hmm. look at, look, you know, you know, side eye to the audience, look at what I have to put up with, <laughs> with these fuckers. Um, yeah. And I think that's really cool, because it's an interesting sort of dichotomy between those two roles, but it works really well, actually. You, you would think that there's a tension there, and maybe there is, but it, it ends up working it really nicely. Um, so props for that. Um, I you. think, yeah, I, th I think, I think they all did rather well, and and I think it all worked out in a very interesting way. And I'm intrigued to see where it goes from here. Well, that's it, and I think, um, as I said, with. thanks to again just everybody involved in the production of this game. I uh, mostly you guys and me. Um, and our, our editors yep. and our understudies and, and uh, our producers, our PR guys um, yeah, our graphics people uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I will go cry in a corner now since a lot of that's just <laughs> your gods um, one thing I will say is just to scare everyone who's still somehow listening to us at this point um, if we don't return to thank you for joining us on the journey and um yeah. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Speed. Goodbye. Zora, you're muted. You muted. I was muted. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>